we've come late so we'll miss all of the animals no 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 no, no. Uh, yeah. uh, the good thing is that it's not a hot morning uh, good. when it's hot it's when you you'll, you'll miss you'll miss it yeah it's cool so we'll see something so um thank you so much for agreeing to do this no worries no worries yeah um i can only be us so you know you you can you can say something if you want to it's cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> again, thank you. Have you done any wildlife stories? Not, let me see. Hey, man, my gosh. It, yeah, possibly. I can, you know, we when I was at KTN and at NTV, yep. we we did a bunch of like wildlife stories. I can't remember one specifically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, over the course of uh, good maybe 10, 15 years, I, I think I might have done a few. Um, yeah. um, mm-hmm. But the one I'd say I've done that's kind of close to wildlife is uh, an environmental documentary that we did now when I joined African Censor, mm-hmm. or rather when I founded African Censor. Yep. Um, that now got us in like really close contact. Ah, actually, yes. Remember the space for elephants? Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, space for yeah, giants. Yeah, yeah. In like I, yeah. I saw that in like Ethiopia. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Space for idea. giants. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'd forgotten. Last year, at least 20,000 elephants were killed for their ivory. John Allen Namu has more from Laikipia County in central Kenya. This is Laikipia County in Kenya's central Rift Valley region, and it's against this backdrop that a conference bringing together presidents from the East African region, business moguls, and global celebrities will be discussing the plight of elephants, specifically against the problem of poaching. Yeah. Wow. With TRT? Yes, I did it for TRT, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Uh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then, yeah. another uh, one. Well, this is not wildlife, but mm. Inspector Fisi. <laughs> well, you can call them wildlife of the concrete jungle. <laughs> well, technically, the technically, name. Technically, Nima Fisi. Nima Fisi, yeah. 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 Just to be clear, that is the voice of a traffic police officer, the man whose job it is to maintain law and order. Yeah. <laughs> have you have you been to Nairobi National Park before? I have. We have. Um, yeah. Yeah. Makana and I were just debating when the last time we had come with the kids was. Yeah. Um, it's been a long time. Mm-hmm. It's been a long, long time. I think maybe about four years uh, since we've been back. Yeah. But we, I guess we'd always intended to, you know. But um, you know, just time and mm-hmm. not being able to jipanga. So I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing what. Well, there have been any improvements uh, uh, since then. Yeah, since then. So yeah. it was about four years ago, yeah? Thereabouts, yeah. So That's any notable like experiences you had then that um, can remember? Do what did you remember we stumbled upon a crocodile where we didn't expect to find a yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. That yeah. Was very, very interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then there are some guys who are getting stuck. Mm-hmm. Um, was it us? Uh, it was some guys. <laughs> there were some guys who were getting stuck. Um, uh, ah, when yeah. they are driving in the park. Yeah, when driving in the park. Yeah, it happens. Mm, but it was a nice, like, late afternoon to early evening. So we left maybe at about uh, 6, 6.30 thereabouts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was around the time the park's gates were supposed to be closing. But it was nice. We got to see a bunch of animals. The kids were really excited. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you'd love to see yeah, a lion. Let's yeah. hope we're going to see one today. Um, the, I, I did an episode, um, it's not out yet, mm. uh, about two weeks ago. Yeah. And as I was driving, mm. a lion, a female lion with its cubs was driving Just towards me. Was jogging towards you? It was driving towards me. Oh, really? So what happens? Well, I mean, it was walking, walking, sorry, it was yeah. walking towards me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, That's a fancy yeah. So what happens, uh, right now in the morning, uh, the grass is wet. Yeah. And so the lions don't like walking on wet grass. Because oh, of the dew. So okay. they walk on the pathways. On the, on the, on the, on the uh, Yeah, the and so it yeah. had like three, four cubs. Wow. And they were just walking towards me. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. Yeah. And all the cars were behind it, so they were following from the back. Oh, I was, nice. I was at the front. So <laughs> oh, so then you got the best shot. I got the best shot. I ah, mean, nice. with, with, with the background of the cars, but yeah. it was a really good ah, no, that's um, cool. shot. So I, I, I think I love Nairobi National Park because mm. you, once you get in, you forget yeah. you're in Nairobi. From, yes. Even when I'm at work, if I'm having a stressful day, I'll just drive in, have a you're quick so lucky. Game drive. Like, yeah. Like, um, so we. <laughs> Yeah, you just come and decompress because we, we have a garden um, yep, yep. Um, where we work. Mm-hmm. 
from time to time when stuff gets stressful, I can take a walk around and it helps. But yeah, I can imagine what this must be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is cool. We actually used to live quite close to, to the park. Ah. And we we get all sorts of animals sort of like sneaking out across the gate that, that you know the gate that's uh, near Magadi Road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that, yeah, we used to live somewhere there. But you did not experience any conflict? Like no, no conflict per se. I mean, well, not directly. I mean, it's a time of water on the street. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah. Oh, okay. And there was a lion, I think, two weeks into us moving there that went in and. Uh, really messed up some of the, the neighbors' dogs. Dogs and yeah. 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 Especially lions when they get older, mm. because now the animals they are hunting here are quicker than them. Yeah. Ah. Also so they, they look go, for, they look for easy prey. prey. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So uh, an, an older lion is very dangerous yeah. because it will target humans, it will target dogs, uh, it will target livestock. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so then were the lions of the Savo older or they, were they just man eaters? Um, they they were man eaters. They were just man eaters. Because also one thing with with especially lions, yeah. once they, they they start feeding on humans, they never uh, stop. They develop the yeah. taste. They for taste it. for humans. Yeah, we're tasting. Yeah, we're tasting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are, what are yeah. guys looking at here? I think there's a crocodile there. No. Oh. At the bar, you can see there. There's a croc there. We're behind the. the this small. Oh, there I can see it. There, there. you see yeah. Makena there near the embankment. Over there, there's oh, you now you with the And there's a hippo, oh, there, yeah. and then there's a hippo. Oh, and there's a hippo. Oh, that's a hippo, yeah, just Ooh. jumping. It's coming towards the, the, the croc. Towards the croc. Yeah. Oh, cool. We just came just in time for the action. For the action, yeah. Where is the croc? Oh, ah, there's the hippo. It's actually coming towards. Actually, us. there's two of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. It's going straight towards the croc. Oh, yeah. I can see something. Yeah, is those are two hippos. No, that oh, that odd color, color over there, that's, that's the, the croc. croc. That's the yeah. croc, yeah. Where, where? It's coming here. Hey man, you came prepared. My yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is my secondary camera that I use. Ah. Uh, taking these shots. Wow. And it looks like it's coming towards us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like oh, we I came at the right time. <laughs> That's so Are cool. Are they playing or what is happening? I think they're playing. Who, who, but is, it the, who is it mating season four? Which at the moment, ah. uh, usually when the rain starts, it's almost all animals. Yeah. Okay. Um, so in a few months, since since December when the rain started, yeah, we will see a few baby bulls. So people start calving. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool, man. Yeah. Where, where? But that's one of the most dangerous animals. Oh yeah, animals. hippo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we my my mom always tells us a story yeah. about how um, there was a guy in in uh, in shags. I can't remember where he was, like which water body he was close to. Yeah. Oh man, these things are so big. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he had half his ass like like chomped off. Chomped off. off yeah. We've actually also done um, with African Censor, yeah. um, human human uh, wildlife conflict um, uh, stories, uh, specifically uh, about hippos and crocs in crocs. in, the, in uh, Lake Victoria. People like twenty-three-year-old Ramadan Omar. We met him at the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital in Kisumu. He was nursing wounds he sustained from a crocodile attack early this year. He and his friend had gone to fish in the dead of the night. I'm telling you, tourists are so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking, actually, this is why Nairobi is such a good city to visit. Because yeah. you don't, you have your hotel very close. Mm -hmm. You don't need to go far to go, to come and see these kinds of things. Yeah, to experience you know? nature. Yeah. yeah. KWS has really tried to maintain mm. Nairobi Park. Because when you're here, you don't feel the city. Because the city is just mm, there. You can see it's here. Yeah, it's just here. We don't feel it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. true. Yeah. And it's so beautiful when it's green like this. Yeah. yeah. Signage. This is mm. really strange, yeah, but I think they 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 are making the roads be even better. Even better. Uh, this is buffalo. This is buffalo, yeah. yeah. Buffalo. buffalo poop. Yeah. Also one of them, one on one dangerous animal. Yeah. Especially yeah. alone one. Yeah. yeah. It's fu it's funny because the animals that uh, vegetarians are one of the most aggressive. Mm. I don't know if it's the same with humans. <laughs> 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 no, well, no, look, look, look. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. For the record, 
she's not aggressive. <laughs> but that's, she's a young <laughs> vegan. Maybe <laughs> she'll she'll grow into it. Sorry. Into aggression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, it's it's the same thing. Yeah. So let's talk about African and Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's Africa. It's oh, Africa. Africa. I don't know why I keep saying Africa. No, a lot of Even when I'm do. reading, I re- I read as African. Yeah. yeah. Africa and Yeah. An independent media company mm-hmm. uh, that you started, both of you. Yeah. Right. Where as an investigative journalist, you do true crime stories mm-hmm. and many other things, right? Yeah. And some something that I found on your website is the Wizilix. Yes. Tab, which yeah. I haven't seen anyone do it. Yeah. And when people do research on corruption and things that are happening, mm. I mean, it's very hard for people to, I guess, get that kind of information. It's it's mm. never that specific. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Um, and I saw your tally per president, yeah. how much. And you know, are you, are you still going to do it with oh, this? Oh yeah, oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I should say, unfortunately. Yeah, it's right? unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Would, it, would, it would be nice if if WYSIWYGS had no utility in in Kenya or anywhere. But mm-hmm. the, the truth of the matter is that as long as man exists, corruption will exist. It will still exist. Um, and as long as power structures that allow for people to be corrupt um, exist, then then corruption will exist. WYSIWYGS for us was um, was was an answer to a question that we had been you know we had been asking ourselves. So the over time you get fatigued with all of these corruption stories, big sort of like scandals day after day after day after day. But it doesn't really make any connection between that and possibly more systemic issues that we have in our country. Mm -hmm. So the attempt with WYSIWYGS is to try and make sense of all of the numbers and show you what kind of system you exist in, what areas, right, that are prone to corruption. So a lot of the corruption that that we've seen is fraud related. Then there's also a big, big chunk of which, which is um, mismanagement. Um, so, which isn't typically corruption, but it can be mismanagement um, on purpose, right? Um, and, and that's a lot of it. And you see it tracking really interestingly with, um, especially um, the Kibaki regime. When when Kibaki uh, got into power. One of the things that he did is that he fired all of his procurement officers yeah. and I think rehired, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, as soon as tender related graft became a thing under that regime, then you start to see an uptick in terms of the kinds of scandals. So tenders relating to remember the Triton scandal. Yeah. Um, uh, obviously, there was Anglo leasing, which was, you know, it, it happened across different governments. Um, there was, uh, remember that, that Kazi Kwa Vijana, yeah. <laughs> where guys were given slashers and guys, you know, and billions of shillings were paid, oh, paid yeah. you know, so though that's how it, it starts in this now, like, like post 2002 era. Yeah. Then we get into the 2013, 2023 regime of, uh, Uruto. Yeah. And like the numbers almost skyrocket because it's happening now at two levels. It's happening at the national level, it's also happening at the county level. And over these 10 years, I can tell you that even the the nature, the amounts, um, and the places where graft is happening have become almost like completely diverse. So tender related graft was usually related to very big sort of, um, very big infrastructure projects things where you can hide the, the graft. These days, you have tender-related graft for procurement of pencils, of, you know, all sorts of things. And it tells you something about the nature of corruption and the nature of the kind of corruption that a government allows and who the beneficiaries are. Yeah. So that's why WYSIWYGS is important because it's not just telling you one single story, it's telling you a story of a system. Yeah. Um, and for us, what we think um, it can develop into is something that also helps us signal which places we are doing well, because that's the other side of of the corruption story. There's people who are actually making efforts to try and improve public service. Yeah. Um, and so eventually, I think we're going to get there. But for now, what we want to do is just keep counting, keep tallying, and keep now people informed on that. And another thing that maybe you might have seen is that we also have a debt clock on um, on the Wizilix. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So a quiz for you. What is our national debt today? 
today? Yes. Uh, I want to say 10 uh -huh. trillion. Yes, yes, you're close. I'm yes. close. Very close, actually. It's around 10.3 yeah. 10 10 uh, trillion. Trillion, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, and the money that has been stolen is almost 1 trillion. I mean, I mean, up to 2022. Yes. So that, that's updated. exactly so updated. it's not updated, and yeah. that's the money that we can count. Like, those, those are that's reported in yeah. auditors' general's report, control of budget reports, um, you know, media reports, etc. And the various sources that we get it from that's yeah. what's reported. Yeah. What isn't reported, that's it's like it's the now. iceberg, <laughs> yeah. it's the iceberg, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. just the the people need to ask themselves, yeah, how is it that we can have trillions? billions stolen from us mm -hmm. over the course of many years but kenya still still exists Bado kenya in a but in a song yeah in a song too because typically mm. with that kind of debt as a single person exactly you would ah, be facing you, so many problems you close up shop you, 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 <laughs> you die yeah i'm telling yeah. you yeah yeah and so what happens because at, at the end of the day in yeah. as much as every other leader who comes in mm. they talk about corruption and they talk about it yeah. but they never do anything about it yeah. And because in my, in my in my opinion, if let's say the president was sitting there right now, I'd ask him, um, yes, so corruption is a big thing. We, yeah. we all agree that. But the only way to, I guess, end it mm. is there has to be consequences. Exactly. You know, mm. human beings are, uh, you know, that, that kind of creature that if if you don't punish them for something they have done then they will not think it's wrong mm. so what then what because you can't just talk about it yeah you know I, for me corruption is i think we think about it in terms of the oh yeah Mpala. yeah so, oh nice it's a bachelor had oh, no, it's, oh, a just, family, it's a family it's a family yeah, yeah. oh yeah you said bachelors are like a, uh bachelor uh, yeah. so the male have the horn so you can yeah. see it's only one that has a horn yeah no there's, there's, there's another two, one two three two three there's, yeah there are about yeah. and then the rest are females yeah oh nice mm -hmm. so it's a family okay. shop it's a, it's a <laughs> family cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> honestly <laughs> if the guys and the chicks are I mean, it's a party it's a party let's just say it's a party it's a party yeah, yeah. yeah. let mm. us stop, stop imposing human behavior on oh there's something oh there's a buffalo where you can see yeah ah yeah uh, have we just reverse kidogo and it's a lone buffalo god damn yeah. lone male buffalo lone male buffalo very dangerous wow. oh man let me take out my phone yeah take a few pictures yeah yeah oh very nice so there was a time we came to the park. Yeah. Um, it was Christmas Day, nineteen ninety-five. Wow. Okay. And um, and so <laughs> my dad, being the joker that he is, yeah, he parks when he sees. I think it was either a rhino or a buffalo. Yeah. And he was alone. Yeah. And my mom flies into the worst panic I've ever seen. <laughs> she had her feet on the dashboard. <laughs> Hello, Anja. We are going to be killed. <laughs> but in the car. This story gets better every time I hear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the last one, I don't even remember her legs being on the dashboard. Oh, the no, they were, on the, they were only on the dashboard. Aki, where your mom? I'm sorry, but yeah, it was one it of those. A... Oh no, oh, there's, it's no, not there's more than oh, one. There's more than one. Female, it's a female letter heard. Yeah. Awesome. This is actually pretty cool. You know what? Yeah. Sometimes when you when you have something you don't appreciate just how close. Um, and it's in our backyard. And yeah, and, and, and just we are, here. And we are nini. <laughs> we, are we upwind or downwind from standing? It's now sniffing the air. What yeah. kind of hot perfume did you? Have? Mm, the good one. Mm. <laughs> so. But I don't think they can recognize because I think the wind is going towards ah, it's them. it's going towards mm. them. Yeah. So they can feel. They can they actually can, smell it. They can. They can smell us. Yeah. 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 Wow. Oh, it's, it's, oh, yeah. Onto the lions. Yeah. I'm dying to see a lion. You're dying to see a lion. Mm. This is, this is how, how possible for this? Is, is it to see a leopard? A leopard is one of the most, the hardest to hardest, see. Yeah. Because it, it's a nocturnal, nocturnal animal and also it, it, it's always on trees. Yeah. Mm. And it's very yeah, reclusive. Yeah. Wow. Like it's, they're like on the road. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm following them. Ah, yeah. nice. That's good. Yeah. Even better.
This guy don't joke. Yeah. Poo, guy on. <laughs> so, so now if a lion eats eight kilograms, eight kilograms. How many? How many kilograms <laughs> does a buffalo eat? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, and, and, and That's a whole mm. During <laughs> drought, they are usually the most affected. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is so nice. Or it's just the ecosystem that consumes them and they're made part of the fertilizer. That's a good question. That whole circle of life. I think uh, KWS tries very hard not to interfere with, uh, with how everything is. Yeah. So the droppings, I don't think so. Maybe uh, probably so cleaning up from yeah. the, on, the, on the roads. Yeah. I don't think they do much from uh, with it. Let me tell you, if Makana was part of the KWS, yeah. <laughs> this park would be so clean. <laughs> yeah. you'd, think that the, you'd think that the animals clean up after themselves. Damn, yeah, we're that's so close. <laughs> we're so close. Bunch of of, of yeah. Yeah, Impala, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're so close. I love it. Uh, yeah. So now you see that you try as hard as possible not to interfere. Yeah. Yeah. Because they've been like this for years. So mm-hmm. now you might interfere and then you. You like, like yeah, and then you bring up a, like a zoonotic disease. That, that's true. Yeah. That's very interesting. Actually, that's that's such a good point. You know, we live in such close um, proximity to wildlife. Yeah. Why haven't there been more zoonotic diseases in Kenya? Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess that that's a good thing. Maybe it's because we don't have like a tradition of eating the wildlife as much as uh, yeah exactly yeah. yeah like the congolese, congolese yeah. or the chinese yeah yeah have you ever been to a wet market no so um in 2014 mm-hmm. 2015 yeah after the the ebola oh wow what night. was that all done like that that's awesome yeah i'm just curious it's just like a choreographed i'm telling you just yeah. look up I'm telling you, these guys are, they're not joking. This is a real gang. Yeah. This, this one, yeah. Full of <laughs> choreography. Yeah. You know, lion can't even attack them like when they're like that. When they're like that. Okay. Yeah. All mm. good. Yeah, so in 2015, after the Ebola outbreak uh, in West Africa. Yeah, I remember. Um, we went on like a, um, an assignment to, to the DRC. Uh-huh. Um, and our hope was to, to go and. Um, Film at the Ebola River. Okay. Right. So where the pandemic uh, began. Began, yeah. Or rather, where the pandemic, the 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 pandemic, the, the the virus got its name. Yep. So we didn't make it that far, because Congo, first of all, is uh, it's the second largest country in Africa, twelfth largest country in the world. Oh. So it's okay. Big. So it's a big country. It's 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 um it's about it's almost the size of continental Europe. Okay. That, that's what people don't realize about the Congo. It's yeah. huge, right? But um, in Kinshasa, mm-hmm. we went to um, uh, a, a wet market. It's named after Lohan Kabila. Yeah. And that's the first time I see, see like small to crocodiles, eels, tortoises, turtles live in the market. Monkey being sold. They're what? now like. Nataka kipande ya nini ya ya exactly ya nyoka ni katikati ya a guy just goes and she does it now and you know and then um, one of the ladies they are selling um, monkey meat like smoked monkey meat mm-hmm. because the, the the virus had done like it had done a number on them in terms of business because usually I think they try and minimize the sale of um, of animal meat of of game meat um, when there's a when there's an outbreak. So she's like, yeah, I can't remember what it was, Boko Yangoyo or something like that. I can't remember what it was called. Yeah. And so she, she literally almost forced it into, into my, <laughs> my hand. I had to take a bite on camera. On camera, yeah. <laughs> was well, she's the one who forced you. Yeah, to she was, yeah, she, no, she came camera. out. Yes, yeah, she came and she was like, oh, Boko Yangoyo. Oh, oh. And then so she, she told you, record, eat take, now. Yes, eat course. now. Yes. Okay. And so I was <laughs> like, like yeah, so I, I, I took it. Yeah. And I was kind of uncertain. Yeah. I take a bite, but it tasted. I mean, it tasted like all smoked meat, if I'm honest. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's, yeah. It's, exactly. It's almost it's like biltong, bila, but bila chumbi. Yeah. I, I think Kenyans don't have that culture. Yeah. And the people that do have that culture, mm. um, KWS has really tried to to educate, uh, to educate people on um, 
uh, illegal wildlife trade mm. and including consumption of, of wildlife meat yeah. and most people who do it are, do, are doing it for survival so yeah. like during the drought period yeah then you get so many cases mm. during that time like right now everywhere is raining people at least have food yeah there are very few cases yeah um so that helps a lot True. because if we were consuming it then it's very easy for us to trans yeah um certain diseases and then now we have a problem mm -hmm. just like the way they're telling us quote unquote that covid came from that yeah, from yeah. the bats and well yeah sure. <laughs> so, it's, yeah it's it's it's, it's 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 really interesting how human and uh, how mankind can can change the way things are supposed to work like the balance of nature just simply by doing things that they think are improving their lives right so like you know the human settle exactly human settlement is a is an issue it's an urban issue yeah so the 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 logical thing to do would be to take up space right but yes and you forget that there's a balance between where you live and yeah, and, and where the wildlife lives exactly lives. and that's and, the thing yeah. because wildlife you met it there exactly it has always lived there mm -hmm. and animals are very predictable mm -hmm. they breed specific places yeah. Uh, they migrate the same routes every mm. other time. Mm. That's why you'll have a problem like in Masai Mara, yeah. elephants walking into a hotel mm. because that has always been their migratory route yeah. for years, for years. So then someone bought that land and created a hotel. But don't you think that's an act actually an issue? Because is, yeah. if if we can use money to try and buy the best spots to 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 spot an elephant and therefore make that a, a tourist attraction, yep. but get into its migratory path. Mm -hmm then what we are doing is actually harming the ecosystem more than we are and and eventually that money is not going to even be worth what it you know the, the kind of investment that you are exactly. making yeah and yeah corruption corruption again yes and that's what i was saying like <laughs> corruption isn't just about the theft of money it's yep. it's the undermining it's the undermining of of a, of a country's system. The impact of corruption is the undermining of a country's value system to the extent that then things become normalized. We know how many, you know, like even Raila was asked, have you ever bribed a policeman? He's like, yes. Mm. Why? Because it's become normalized, yeah. right? We we do these things thinking that ah, nobody is seeing, but everybody is seeing, everybody is watching, you know? And it happens with all sorts of things. You know, right now we're having issues with femicide. What's the underlying problem? That exactly. men are not having a conversation about how they've lost their place in, in, society. in society. So I'm curious as to how you're deciding where to go. Mm. Oh, so <laughs> I think what, how I'm deciding, mm. it all depends with the route. So currently I'm looking for rhinos based oh, because okay. they, they kind of like the foresty, oh, the foresty, foresty area. And then now I want us to move to the savanna. Ah, nice. Uh, down there, I want yeah. us to go down there. Can you imagine what 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 a what a buffalo must be thinking when it's looking at the city? At the city. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. And so yeah. everything at the end of the day, uh, mm -hmm. if you have a broken system, yeah, of corruption, it will affect everything. It it affects everything. It undermines everything. Yeah. You know, just going back to the Congo example, mm -hmm. right? I, I was interviewing someone just actually just late last year. Yep. And they were, you know, we were talking about the mining sector. Yep. And he said something, you know, Mobutu died, but Mobutu is, is alive and well, right? And what he was, what he meant was is that that systemic kleptocracy is still alive and well in the in the actions of public officials it's affected the private sector it's affected all public life yeah now we don't think about corruption in that way and we like to externalize it we think that it's just the government yeah but in truth it's all of us because it impacts all of us you know there's a bribe giver a bribe taker Right? Yeah. There's a person who will be impacted by that bribe, or there's a person who will be impacted by that corrupt action, and they'll start to see that ah, the only way I can make it is that if I myself am also, also corrupt. corrupt yeah. You understand? Yeah. And that has an impact on everything. That's true. Right? Yeah. Go to Kisumu now, the hospital, Jaramogi, yeah. teaching and referral hospital, right? Yeah. 
they are suffering some of the worst impacts, I'd say, of public sector health-related corruption. Yeah. They built, um, remember when we had that managed equipment leasing scheme? So it's foisted onto the counties, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The counties are forced to take that equipment. They're not ready for it. Yeah. They build these big um, um, ICU units. It sounds like a good thing. The only thing that people forget is that for every ICU bed, you have to train two nurses right yeah you don't have the capacity to do so yeah so you go you walk into that icu it's got many beds but very few are actually working Whoa. you understand yeah so so that's that's how corruption works, works. It, 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 it it doesn't work just when you give a bribe yeah. the bribe is just the first part of it there's an entire chain of events that take place that then undermine everything that we do and make everything more yeah. expensive Right? Yeah. Yeah. For the benefit of a few. For the, the benefit of, of a few. few. And yeah. you see, like, uh, politicians, yeah. uh, the past few years, mm -hmm. they've always campaigned with the idea to help the youth. Mm -hmm. And because they abandoned them after mm -hmm. they got into power, yeah. then these kind of things will happen. Because at the end of the day, I'm, not that I'm excusing what these, mm -hmm. these uh, young men have done, yeah. but if at all, they were able to be in programs that actually work, mm -hmm. then they wouldn't be doing this. Same with the girls that are in those situations. Exactly. Uh, if at all you are in a good setup, mm -hmm. then they, you wouldn't want to meet someone you, you don't even know. Mm -hmm. And so all these problems, and none of them have talked about it even now. Yeah. You know, which is very strange, mm -hmm. because if if it's about LGBTQ, they're the first to they're the first to, <laughs> to go and because LG, the LGBTQ agenda yeah. is an easy target. It's an easy agenda for them to attack, right? Yeah. Um, and we might have our, our own views about um, the LGBTQI community, right? Yeah. Yeah. But as long as and I saw actually someone from uh, Uganda who was writing about this. Um, in, uh, why am I forgetting his name? And he's a colleague of mine who was writing about the same issue that sexual violence in Uganda, the red herring is the LGBTQI um, um, community because those are the people who are targeted, etc. Yeah. And so it makes it look like, ah, this is just about them. And because it's not happening to us heterosexuals, then we shouldn't be worried. Yeah. But who who are the, the, the biggest victims of, um, of homicide? It's women. it's women and like a huge if you were to do actually i should i should uh, shout out um, some of our colleagues from odipo dev they're, they're they're about to they're about to publish a data a, a data set like a, a website almost like WYSIWYG. yep um that's counting the number of femicides across kenya yep and if i know that there's a very strong correlation between the number of homicides just nationally and the number of homicides that are femicides yeah. You get yeah. that are just women being killed being because killed they're, they're, hour, yeah. because they are women. Yeah. And what that tells you is that then we also have a problem with sexual and gender-based violence in this country. Yeah. But if you have the LGBTQI community being the ones who are the victims, then there's a very it's very easy to other them, you know, and say that ah this isn't our problem. But it's a national problem, you know. So you know what else is a national problem? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know whether people know what femicide is. Mm -hmm. Because there's the assumption that every time a woman is killed, it's, it's femicide. Um, mm -hmm. if, if the circumstances are unclear or there's a man involved or there's mm -hmm. an Airbnb involved, now they're being called online accommodations. So just John, what is femicide? <laughs> <laughs> the definition that I have is <laughs> is that femicide is, is the murder of a woman because or primarily motivated by her gender, right? Okay. Yeah, so not all female deaths are femicide, femicide. but there's a lot of female murder that's related to the fact that they, they are women, they're in positions that they are unable to, to, defend, themselves. to defend themselves. Yeah. And they are victimized usually around, you know, the, the issue of sex, um, and it's usually in either intimate intimate situations. So a lot of gender-based violence, a lot of femicide happens in intimate partner um, relationships, situations, yeah. relationships. So, you know, men and men and... Where? Oh, well. yeah. 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 Oh, oh, it's more than one. It's more than one. Yeah, three. Three or four, actually. Oh, because there's two behind that, uh, that hedge over there. Yeah. And I that's always so have cool. this... 
bad feeling that mm. one day I'll just open up. Actually, there's more than that. Mm. And then you put your hand out and then no, a lion I'll just comes out. out. <laughs> but something just jump through the window and eat me. <laughs> well, there are many. So there's one, two, three, four, five, yeah. six. Family. Uh, mm. What kind of giraffes do you normally have in this park? Uh, it's a Maasai giraffe. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. There's actually a bunch of, along this just this tree line be, behind because I can mm. see one over there. Mm. Yeah. Ah, nice. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Ah, very nice. We move. Mm. Yep. Sorry. Um. Uh, should I close so that it no, doesn't it's okay, affect? No, it's okay. It's okay. It's good. Cool. Ah, so okay. they don't eat you. No, <laughs> so that it doesn't affect <laughs> the audio exposure, yeah. exposure, yeah. And exposure, and, uh, and the, the video. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're talking about family side. Yeah. Uh, so so. Ah, there are even some that are even closer. Closer here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're so beautiful. Very nice. This is one of the most beautiful animals. Very majestic. There. Yeah. And look at that. Like if someone had a really good camera, these these are now those cities. Those shots, yeah. Uh, shots mm. that you can take. Yeah. With the like skyline of. Yeah, with the skyline. To postcards. Uh, they were they were killed by the internet. Man. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Also, the the guys who are handling it did yeah. not improve their service. Exactly. Ah. So like innovator, uh, innovator, yeah, exactly. And also the mailing system sort of collapsed. Yeah. Mm. I had an idea of mm. of bringing it back, mm. but then getting a proper um, mailing company was yeah. a problem. Mm. Yeah. Because like every year, if you can send your friends like a yeah. like a card, yeah, it would yeah. be nice. Yeah. Really yeah. Nice. One two. Or five. If we go around the bend, we'll see we'll actually the friend. rest of the family. Yeah, and then now you know with with giraffes, um, uh -huh. they all get pregnant at the same time. Ah, uh -huh. so that's why you see most of them are kind of oh, looking like, like, like the same age. So oh, the gaps okay. are very like months. Interesting. Yeah, I did not know that. So they all. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so that's why you see like they all look the same, but maybe one is older with yeah. like a few months. Yeah. 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 Okay. How do you? How do you determine the ages of some of these animals? Um, mm. Yeah, how do you? I, I guess based on their characteristics. So, mm. accurately, for mm. example, young ones, mm -hmm. their their patches are not dark. They're very browny. They're mm. very uh, yeah. Mm. But then, as they grow older, if they're a male, they become way darker mm. and bigger. Yeah. So there are a few things that you can check for you to determine the age, like the approximate the approximate age. age. Yeah. Yeah. And how long do giraffes live? I'm not sure how long they live. Mm. Uh, I'd have to check it. But I, f I, I believe probably 14, 15 years, mm. maybe longer. It's a short life. Yeah. But it, and then also, you know, mm. with their necks. Yeah. They, the, the, the necks have to take blood all the way to the brain. Yeah. Right? So for us, it's very easy because the neck is just this size. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it's a very delicate animal. Are you trying to say that tall people take a long time <laughs> <Yeah>. to think? <laughs> yeah. Actually, most people who survive yeah. in the world are short people. Are short people. Yeah, like the oldest people in the world are, are the usually, shortest. Are sh usually short ah, people. That's okay. So <laughs> interesting. Then maybe that <laughs> yeah. maybe that's why Asians like yeah. live longer. Oh, yeah. Live longer. Yeah. 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 Your body has less stress. Uh, Finally, a good thing for short people. <laughs> people have been the battle jokes for a long time. Yeah. Uh, what was Wishing. My Shamara. My Shamara. They are so beautiful. beautiful. Okay, yeah, I've said that like a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> you know, giraffe is not an animal that you can. Mm. It's, it's, it's unique in its own way. It's very unique. Yeah. It's like really super unique. Mm. Oh. So that one must be younger. The one with this behind to us, yeah? Yeah, but this, the mm. one that is look, looking at us, or well, that that is rather straight ahead, yeah. it looks a bit older. It looks like mm. the yeah. the female of the group. Because it's darker. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So there's Majestic. an individual record for every animal in this park. Yes. So individual in the sense that they know a family, mm. so they can say how many they are, but not that they've named each. Yeah. Mm. So this group that. And you know, animals are very predictable. So, yeah. like with this, mm -hmm. they most likely come here a lot. Okay. Unless it's during drought, when now mm -hmm. they have to find food elsewhere. Yeah. They have specific areas. So, like a ranger right now could tell you, oh, this is the family of mm -hmm. maybe that that yeah. one. Yeah. 
and this is where they are. Yeah. So when yeah. each one is born, you know when it's born and yeah the, of that family of that family yeah but you don't mm. th- i think the only ones that we name or are named are uh, elephants and uh, rhinos mm. because they are rarer and they are fewer mm. and they are fewer but yeah. there are no elephants in this park right no no no, no. yeah no. It, it's too small it's too small yeah. yeah and also it would be hectic imagine an elephant coming to town wow yeah bunge kidogo yani alie watu fulani yeah just imagine it would be nice eh Yeah. The parliament opens and they're talking nonsense. And, and then they the just, just, just talking. Just <laughs> a few yeah. Guys. yeah. I'm yeah. going to feign ignorance and ask what happened to Pochi? We don't hear. We don't hear. Yeah, I think the efforts that the KWS does on Pochi is really good. Mm-hmm. Um and then also the consequences of it. Yeah. Are much higher. Like if you get caught, it's like you've killed somebody. Mm. the consequences mm. so now people realize that eh, okay yeah it's a very dangerous thing. it's a very dangerous thing and and yeah, yeah and you so know that's a darker that's male yeah, the, the, yeah. that's a male one and you yeah. see the male is a bit yeah darker as yeah. you can see mm. and i don't know maybe it's a, it's a younger male mm. it should you know kwanga mara nyingi by itself mm. not mingling with it's so funny because most animals are like that once yeah. you get a certain age as a man mm. you kind of leave your your mm. family <laughs> Yourself, be by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, same with elephants. Yeah. There's there's um I've noticed a couple of patches of grass that look like an animal was either sitting in them where on the side of the road I'll show you. Um where like, the grass is flat off of parted. Oh, so yeah. so what happens? Uh, it's trenches that they've created when it uh, rains mm-hmm. so that the water doesn't oh it doesn't flood the road. Yeah, it just goes inside. Okay. So last door season 2. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you launched it a few weeks ago. Yeah. Well, a few days ago. Yeah. How yeah. was it? How was the launch? Well, the launch was I mean, it was nice. Um it was nice to get that kind of support. Um we had like a private screening where we invited a couple of people. Mm-hmm. Um just to take a look at the first the premiere episode. Yeah. It's the second time we've done we've, we've done that. Mm-hmm. And it was really it was really cool to see people's responses. Yeah. Um I think I think so that the the dilemma that I have with talking about the last door is that you know in as much as it's uh, it's like a documentary program that I want people to watch it's it's also about a very very painful yeah. like, periods in people's lives yeah and and I struggle with you know sort of like walking that yeah. balance between, between okay like you know he has the last door come and watch it it's an interesting show etc but the show is actually about you know people who had families people who some of you might know yeah um who died in like really gruesome circumstances yeah um so that's that's always like a tough balance but i mean what what it's taught me is a uh, man we uh, there's a lot that goes on in this country so how do you carry that emotional toll having a family like coming back home to your wife and you're like okay i've done this that's, story that's actually a better question for mckenna than than for, than for me <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's actually a better yeah it's a better question it's a better question for her because i can say that i carry it a specific way but you know i don't see my own reactions and so they're the ones who and so yeah i mean sometimes the answer that i usually give the standard answer is that i just come and i talk to makena about it right yeah. so or even just like try and educate the kids about what's happening etc but you know i've had to catch myself one one or two times when i get really animated talking about the problems that i've seen with children who want to be kids you know yep. they want to believe that the world is somehow good and you don't want to like break that all together you also want them to maintain that belief that there's goodness in the world but when you see so much crime so much violence especially like person to person things can be very gruesome it can be tough to it can be tough to make sense of it all but sorry i wanted to comment on um, Jonathan's reactions to Yeah. The stories and the last one and everything. Yeah. I think having gone him before children and with children, I think his reactions and his his connections to the stories and his uh the sort of 
emotions that is that are evoked by the stories yep. mm. have changed. I think when when he has to deal with an issue that involves a child, remembering that he has a child at home, mm. um, and he has children at home, that will affect him very differently. Yeah, that's compared true. to if he sees a woman killed, he's not gonna think, okay, McKenna can be killed. I mean, it's it's gonna be at the back of his mind, but. It, it hurts more, I guess it it affects him more when there's children in, involved. That's true. Or when like the uh, relationship, the mother, the parent, child relationship is very apparent in yeah. the... Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And you can feel yeah. that loss and that breaking of having lost the child. Yeah. And I mean, in, 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 in truth, all mm -hmm. of them are someone's child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 But um, like he says, that, that relationship really does change. Like I saw the video you, you posted on Instagram on your stories last night. Oh yes, the about uh, Carrollton. Carrollton yeah. came out. Yeah, man. And, hey, wow, that that <laughs> that episode was so hard to film. I think people don't get don't get it. Like, you know, she actually uh, Carrollton's mom works for the KWS. Eh? Uh, oh, um, I didn't. Yeah, know. she's a ranger. She's a ranger with the KWS. Yeah. Um, I think she's posted in Embu. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I'd been looking to chat, to sit down and talk with her for a while, yeah. and then it happened. And you think that five years on, it, it might not be less painful, but you have more, I guess, more resilience. But like her pain was so raw, yeah. like so raw. Yeah. But interestingly, everybody that we spoke to in that in that episode. Like it was just over here, just beneath the surface, yeah. and just goes to tell you what kind of person that guy was. Yeah. You know, he he was a brilliant human being. I, I I had to catch myself. You know, very rarely do I get emotional like on camera, mm -hmm. and I try and be dispassionate, um, especially in those moments. Yeah. Because you can you can get carried away. Yeah. But um, I don't know. It just. It just felt very different. It felt very like just that sense of injustice. Like, how do you visit it on a person who, you know, this single mother has has struggled with him. He's been such a source of joy and inspiration to her through his academic work and just through he, who he was. And then just to kill him, just, you know, just randomly like that after a football game, you know, for yeah. Pete's sake, it's such a, it, it speaks to, again, that thing of just normalizing violence and, and a certain level of corruption that allows for these things to happen. Because in as much as, you know, Carlton was, um, you know, Carlton's case is one that we know about, there are so many cases that are like that, that you'd be surprised. There are people who are walking wounded in this, in this country of ours, yeah. carrying such deep, deep, pain and yeah. hurt because of how their their kin were killed yep. that you, you can't even begin to 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 imagine what that must feel like you know so i guess now speaking to the last door that's kind of what we're i'm hoping for like i'm hoping that in a sense it it brings people to to the table to talk about some of these very ugly truths about our country yeah and in some way for the people who've been left behind gives them a sense of closure um in having the the stories of the people who they loved you know told yeah in a way that's that's um honest but at the same time reminding people that no matter what you think of this person no matter what they did or who they were this person was a person and we set certain rules in society that we shouldn't kill one another and yet we consistently break those rules you know pretty much uh, yeah and and so when you're talking to a victim yeah how do you balance showing them empathy while also trying to get a story from it like i think how? it's just by being honest with them okay. like telling them look um in as much as as I want you to tell this story, this is how this story benefits me. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a series, I'm packaging this series, it's going to go for this specific place. So just being honest with them, then also not um, trying not to, to uh, 
manipulate their emotions, right? Um, by like, for instance, um, that thing of also like crying with them, you know, mm. it can be it it can be deeply. You're trying to emote, and and many times that's possibly what happens in those kinds of interviews, right? Yeah. Where it just happens naturally, but it's it can be very tough. I I imagine for someone to see you in that, you know, sort of like reflecting or mirroring their emotions. Yeah. Um, and for them to now n not to think that hi this person, yeah, actually has you know. Um, like a much bigger interest they then now you know you put all sorts of place all sorts of hopes um in their minds about what can the outcome of the story can be it's also being honest with them and saying look this story might not lead to anything it might not lead to to a just end just yeah. your 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 kin might not you know the 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 your kin might not be what do you call it the investigations might not go faster. Yeah, it might not change anything. Yeah, um, and by them recognizing that, I think it also helps prepare them. But in there've been very extreme cases where we went actually just like once or twice, where we we've, we've asked like um, doctors or or, psych, or psychologists to accompany us to the field. Yeah, um, yeah, but but that's in very rare circumstances. Yeah. I think that you know the short answer is just by being honest with with them about what it is that you're doing there, and then also just managing expectations about what can happen. Yeah, yeah, that that usually helps. And yeah. and now when you when you work on a case, yeah, do you feel obligated to give them an update? Like, um, you have to you have to fight that you have to fight that feeling. Yeah. That 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 um, it, it, it's natural to feel like you want to update them, and, and in some cases, you know, I have given in to that yeah. that that um, unction to do that. Yeah. Um, but again, you have to remind them that I you handle so many of these things. It, it'd be tough for me to be able to give you to updates. Give you, update. you know. Uh, um, yeah. So so again, it's just by being honest and and acknowledging that. Whereas I, I can do something. What I can do is offer you my platform yeah. to be able to to talk Let's about, talk the, about yeah, the story happened, and yeah. what happened, yeah. and possibly also now investigate maybe leads that haven't been yeah. haven't been followed. Let's go back to your family. Mm. Um, I read that when you did the expose on Pandora Papers, yeah, you had to relocate them <laughs> weeks in advance. Mm. When you're making that decision, do you sit down with your wife and like, okay, is this story worth? <laughs> wife, do I sit down with you <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and make this? Is this decision? story worth? Just pull out the, pump, the, pump, yeah. the picnic blanket. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. I mean, we we. I think we talk. We talk about what the potential dangers of any story might be. Yeah. Usually while I'm doing it, yeah. sometimes before I set out, yeah, sometimes prior. Um, like with Pandora with Pandora papers, I think we had a conversation in February. Um, and then we had, you know, subsequent conversations, you know, as we moved closer. But I think as it got closer is when we recognized, ah, yeah, uh, this thing it's, might... It's uh, becoming real. Yeah, so so we didn't move weeks in advance. Yeah. We actually we actually um, moved, yeah, just quite okay. close to no, the... Sorry, I want to find out whether this is right to say. Yeah, I'm thing. trying to figure yeah, out. Whatever, just whatever like quite close to the... Yeah. To, to when it was published, right? Yeah, yeah. But not, you know, not immediately. And then we... And not weeks before. Yeah, yeah, not but it, yeah. I mean, just for the records, you know, for sake of the record. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it wasn't weeks. It wasn't weeks before. Ah, it was weeks. So but, then, but we did stay for weeks after. After, okay. Yeah. So, in how do you have that conversation with your kids? Do you know it? I'm Kutano. Like, yeah. listen, there's no arguing here. Yeah, this yeah. Is it. We, 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 we told them that it was like, a, I mean, they were younger then. Yeah, we called it an advan an, an adventure. Okay. Where we'll be staying together. Um, and we have to act like this and like this. Then yeah. they will be going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. was, which was, I guess, a positive. Yeah. yeah. And they were going, um, you know, they were, they weren't going to school. Yeah. You know, um, so, so it was exciting. Some parts of it were exciting. Other parts frustrating. You get cabin fever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you wash dishes until you're. <laughs> you until wash dishes anymore, yeah. man. You eat everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. up you eat them, the leftovers are uh, uh, treasured because <laughs> you're like, guy, we have to cook again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that life, it's it, you know, I think fictional accounts of what it's like to be on the run make it look exciting and like, yeah, yeah, like in it, movies. Oh, yeah, but it, it's it's very frustrating, yep. it's very, very discombobulating. Like, you can imagine being taken out of your ordinary context, the habits that you formed, the things that you do, your routine, you know, and your exactly a familiar environment. And you have to now acclimatize very quickly, but also be aware of of um, this fact that there might be some big bad security threat out there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, if I'm honest, I, I wouldn't want to do it again, nor would I wish it on anybody. Yeah. Yeah, no, would I wish it on anybody? Stressful, yeah, I'm stressful. sure. When we were single, yeah. however, yeah. it was a lot easier. Yeah, I, I'll say. Yeah. Right? Not less stressful, but there was ways that in which you could handle stress. So, like, if you're out of the country and and you're a single dude, um, and nobody knows you, I know, Naranda, Naranda people, yeah, yeah, you explore. Uh, you, know, you, explore. <laughs> yeah. you take it almost like a yeah, but but like a holiday. Yeah, but. With a, exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but with a family, it's very it's different. different yeah. It's very different. Yeah. You're constantly worried. Mm. Mm. And does it help because both of you now this company, both of you work there, so you both understand. Yeah. The risks. Well, it's true. We do we do understand the risks. I think McKenna appreciates those risks more than other people, like, and she also has built sort of like risk mitigation strategies into her life yeah and so sometimes even when i'm less worried about risk she'll be like yeah, but uh, don't you think why are you doing this this yeah. is a risk yeah. why are you leaving your laptop here why you, you know yeah. stuff like that and i tend to forget so it's good to have that sort of reinforcing environment yeah with you um makana now is um you know she opened a cloud kitchen in, in covid and then she and she chose to leave and uh, and stay behind um, yeah. at home and also now just look at new opportunities in Pala. It was just here. So this is here. Oh, yeah. a male and a female. Uh, mm -hmm. a, a couple. couple. How, I think. How do you know? You know, funny the thing. Man, the man looks constantly frustrated. All of the kelele. I'm a kaliwa. All of the kelele that is being made for him. Yeah. 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 So McKenna, you you you're an editor, video I, editor. Yes, 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 yes. So when you're editing, I tell you, put younger through the yeah, and I put you in the field. Actually, you should ask her yeah. what the most traumatizing you mean, you footage. This is not This is why we left Njoroge over there stressed. <laughs> that is why Njoroge is stressed. Njoroge, yeah. they are just stressed. Yeah. Poor Njoroge. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, I was saying you should ask her what her most traumatizing, the most traumatizing footage she's ever got. Yeah. Oh no, that must have been. Yeah, it's as real as it gets. Because yeah, right. like, what? The burning down of the church. Yeah. Wow. Um, You're the one who edited that, that, that story, yeah? Yeah, I want us to go to Lion Bridge. Ah, nice. That's yeah. what you told me. Come on, Fana. Fana Simba. What sort of um, um, mileage would you do in here on average if you come to look at that? Mm. Two, three hours. So I, I, I mm. wouldn't know by mileage. I'd say yeah. t- driving two to three hours this speed. Mm. Um, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you don't chama a lot of uh, gata. No, no, no. Because I'm not speeding. Yeah. And also it's not that long. And I mean, other parks it'll take five hours, six yeah. hours because they're bigger. Yeah. But this uh, three hours. Mm. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 joy. Yeah. You know how much they love women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have heard this story. What's that? Si jawana. You wanna nini? Ala sema kama ni mwana iye achini. So most likely there's something he's oh, he's heard on the radio. Oh, kuna simba uko. Yeah. Yeah. But I can see people there, so I'm trying to. See. Ah, and yeah. it might be under trees, so or we might yeah. be lucky. Maybe like it to see something. Yeah. Yeah. And now we go and see how Kamau Kamau the Kamau lion and his, and his wife Jerry are getting on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do they do they have a flood over these bridges? Yes, when it rains heavily, yeah. it can get messy. Yeah, um, yeah sometimes. Mm. Mm. So yeah, Makena, you're saying something mm. uh, about the worst footage yeah. ever saw. Must be some of that. Yeah. Then just bits and pieces. I remember uh, some some footage on on witches being burnt in pieces. That was bad. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I mean suspected witches. Let me yeah. tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, wonder that one. I remember because yeah. we did that story more, and I did that story. Yeah. yeah. Like, have you ever seen footage? That was the 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 most. I don't know. When the person was in the house, the person who was accused of being, of being a, witch, a witch, yeah, was in the house. When they are taken, they are yeah. beaten, the and these are not house. young people. These yeah. are people in their seventies, dragged out, thoroughly beaten, yeah. Yeah. piled Stoch. on with um, with um, all sorts of kindling and nini and wood and stuff, yeah. and set on fire. Right. It was what? the most traumatizing thing that. Where? That yeah. thing was horrible. Yeah. Do you also remember that there was a story mm. that was done? Anyway, one of one of the reporters, a woman had eaten the top part of a child's head. Oh, my God. A two month old baby. What? And you can clearly see it. You have Mm. the paperwork, the the bite, not the paperwork, the footage. The footage, the video. Oh, my God. Yeah. Actually, that's a good point. Like, editors see some of the craziest shit. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. Some of the craziest stuff. It's so funny because the, uh, as an editor, because I edit mm. as well, mm. the most emotional, I guess, thing that I've done yeah. is a wedding. Oh really? Hey, those those tears of happiness, those, those are good. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. Is there someone yeah. outside the car? Oh no. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, stepped yeah. outside. They step up, but they shouldn't. So there's something that they're looking at over yeah, here. But they shouldn't. Yeah. Can, can be yeah, dangerous. So you can, uh, on your ticket, there's a number you can call. Mm-hmm. And they'll do it for you for free. Like, look, at this dog. look at this dude. But he oh, shouldn't. He's, he's trying his... to take a picture, but. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, he's still they... inside the car. He can yeah, play that card. something that they've seen. Listen, yeah. Yeah. Where I can see it. I think I need to. I think I can see something there, but I don't know if it's it. Yeah, even me. You can I see, can see something. Yeah, but I'm not sure. Oh, here straight ahead. Yeah, yeah you, I can see yeah. something brownie. Yeah. Something brown. Yeah, that's true. But it. it... <laughs> you see them now? Nope. Two <laughs> wireless <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, ayah. Kain. Oh, here, yeah. Right here. Oh, here. Oh. oh. Okay, nyama. <laughs> you see, Makana, I told you. Just yeah. say, come out. Come out, talk her. And she's big. That's what? a big lioness. Yeah. She is big. She's the kind that uh, I eat you. Uh, Jerry? <laughs> yeah, she's big. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Makana. Gosh. You're, you're happy. I, I know yeah, you're going to just see so loud. <laughs> You can just do a bit of a catwalk yeah. towards us. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. Wow. Oh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Oh, oh man. I would love this. Oh, very loves yeah. cats. Um, mm. Do you have pets? Um, yes. Yeah. Um, two dogs. Ah, okay. Two Great Danes. Ah, okay. McKenna is unhappy with one of them right now. Why? I'm about to be happy. Ali, 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 <laughs> and then just destroy the entire compound. I mean, really. <laughs> so how, how do you have that talk with the Girardi? Like, yeah. hey, how do you know, have that talk with the Girardi? Apo, uongei na umbona una unacha nini kuku kitembe na kujua kuna kuna ubu apa. Baby, you can sit on your. See on over your... here. Yeah. Over here, I can sit. I'm just waiting for her to yawn. Yeah, what time? I missed. I missed it when she uh, was yawning. Why can't she just walk? And, and if there are two. The most likely, mm. the pride is close, like because ah. it's a pride. Mm. Mm. I've, I've, I've seen my friend this mm. If if you came across now, because obviously the article was talking about hyenas. Now, if you came yeah. across a lion, what would you do? Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I really knows. yeah, you don't Even know. Even the things you say that you think you mm. might do, yeah. You will not be laughing. And assuming yeah. it's yeah. like it's given you distance. Like a hundred meters, yeah. and it's open, so you can't climb a tree. So you Where? just, uh, what do you do? Unangaliana <laughs> paka gets bored. You just look at it. It's just a staring competition. You act like a tree. Uh, I think I would I'd remove my belt. And then? And then I don't, I, I don't know what I would do, but if it came... Like you're making it easier, like easier access. And I'm going to be so... All you need to do... All you need to do are just the buttons. <laughs> That's why... <laughs> I'm going to eat and yeah. then like throw a guamacho. I'm going to act like a crazy person and just scream running towards it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but if that yeah. doesn't work, yeah. now because we'll be closer. Uh, I'm like, ah, would you jokes? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. now this is why I was telling you like early yeah. morning mm. because now you see the, the grass has dried. Ah. So that's why they're hiding there. But early morning. Early they're morning they're probably here walking. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 but my gosh, and yeah, eh? mm. this is why antelopes are trained to run, because how do you see something like this in the tall grass? Yeah, how, no, you can't. Mm. And, it, yeah. looks like and it looks like the grass. Yeah. Wow. Like the moment you will see it, mm. because mm. Yeah. that's true. Yeah. But before that. But before that, I'm uh, yeah. so, mm. I'm a mm. And then I would find a way to throw it to Camacho. I'd wait. Oh, until it's close. It's close. But and if you it. miss, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's a thing. Can you imagine your aim the nerves? <laughs> that will be the most important throw <laughs> of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's either the most important or the last. Or the last, yeah. Mm. Mm. I want us to look for, mm. for rhinos now. We'll be able to find. Yeah, yeah, we can. We, we it after we can find rhinos. Mm. But, uh, but sana sana the the white rhino, the black rhino is very elusive. Uh. And that one is very difficult to find it. But the black, the white rhino, we can we can. Though the new chache, they're about twenty here. Twenty. But we may get like yeah. Wow. Yeah. I read they were relocating some brown hatchikas. Mm. Inanga hatchikas, some pictures. Mm. Yes, yes. The, uh, yes. Mm. Well, yesterday was it yesterday or oh, the day yeah. before yesterday? They were doing translocation. Okay. Ah. So they want to move some from here. To, because we have right, uh, black rhinos are about a hundred plus here, yeah. So they kind of want to move a few and oh, okay. to take them conservative. Because rhinos, when they become many, mm. they start killing each other. Oh, they fight each other like, like oh. really badly. Yeah. And so now we are trying to conserve them. So ah yeah. So you want you to have to kind them. of relocate them and so they can give them space. Okay. Yeah. They're that territorial. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. They're they're funny creatures, and then they mm. don't like mating are you serious yeah like, like they don't like mating like they will do it but 
it <laughs> after a few years. They don't like it, so they can't reproduce. Uh, they don't know what that means. <laughs> they're not, that's why they get extinct. Yeah, yeah they don't. Yeah, yeah so I, I also maybe because of stressful factors, maybe why. Uh, and so when you when you separate them and give them like a good habitable place, uh, then now they're more. They're, they're, they're more inclined to mate. Inclined to mate. Yeah. Oh, so some are not taking privacy. Oh, they're taking privacy. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Taka> privacy. <laughs> Given the opportunity. Yeah. 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 Um, so now let's talk about East Africa. Yes. So a few days ago, yeah. TZ uh, say that they are banning KQ from flying yes. to, to. Was it Da? Da, Nairobi yeah. Da. Yeah. Um, what's your take with the relationship that we have with our East African countries? I think we have a problem with each. <laughs> For some uh, uh, with each? With, with each. Or with oh, each. So it is that, 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 yes, almost yeah. all. It's, it's, it's that, it's that um, balance between having a harmonious relationship as East Africa. Yeah. Because there's advantages to being part of like an, a, a regional bloc, right? Yeah. And protecting the interests of your country. Because if I read correctly, the, the conflict actually started because we had given them uh, rights to to um, to land their cargo yep. in uh, in Nairobi, yeah. but they hadn't given reciprocal rights to us to land our cargo in Dodoma, and so then we then now were like, okay, come on, evil. but see, then now even them now they came, oh, Kenya, you know. Mm -hmm. Then they did the same. Yeah. I think I think that's really the the, the fault line, right? right? It's like at the, at that political level, how do you show that your fealty, that your loyalty is to your citizens, um, while and and then counterbalance these kinds of things? So, I think at at the end of the day, it it really has to be resolved at that level, and and have one political voice that says. Look, we are better and we are stronger. We're better off together. We're better off working and trading and living and, and you know, together. But I just don't think that that really, you know, I don't think that that, that that's really now filtered down to, to everybody. Because if I remember correctly, remember in COVID how badly guys from Tanzania were talking about, about Kenyans. There was a commissioner there in Arusha. Man, that guy was talking. All sorts uh, of because of all the precautions you are yeah, taking, yeah. and them themselves were exactly not. they were not. They were talking all sorts of unmitigated, just rubbish. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you yeah. see, that's a thing. That's Magufuli's projection of what his national interest is, yeah. and then these guys perceive it as but Kenya wa Kenya You know. Yeah. Okay. But, but you you can think about the same. The same thing with uh, Kenyans and uh, and Ugandans and um, the cost of um, chicken feed in Uganda as opposed to here. Yeah. Right. So then that drove a lot of businesses across the border into Uganda because it's cheaper it's to cheaper rear there. chicken there. Yeah. It's taken away business. Yeah. And there were some also re reciprocal actions that we took. Yeah. That then now made it difficult for Ugandans to trade. So I don't think we quite appreciate the value of being like a larger market um and and what it could do for us i you know i'm more inclined to think that we should be we should be thinking of east africa not so much as a country but as a region where if i wanted to live in dodoma or if i wanted to go and work in in kampala or or in you know wherever um or in kigali then nothing should stop me and the same for, for a Rwandese person, the same for a Ugandan person, yeah. um, the same for a Congolese person. Because it be it's, it's through that cross-pollination that we actually become better. Yeah. America isn't strong. Well, I mean, there are many reasons why America is a, is a, is a strong country. Yeah. But one of the things that America has that people don't quite appreciate is just how diverse it is. Yeah. You know, how many different communities actually live in 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 america and how that enriches the experience of being an american yeah, right yeah like th th that's how they're able to innovate in so many areas in terms of food science etc yeah right it's yeah. not then it's not the politicians only that are saying ah, to tie in here 
true leadership is important, but the secret source of any successful society is how its population is able to adopt, adapt, grow, change, move. And you only do that when you come into into contact with other people, other societies, and see how they live. Yeah, that that's how I look at it. Like, and that's why in America, it's very hard to even pick mm. out the the true American. Yeah, because there's Irish Americans, exactly. Italian Americans, there's Italian Americans, African Americans. There's there's uh, there's Mexicans. Mexicans yeah. There's all sorts of Latinas. Yeah. You know, there are guys from the Dominican Republic. Yeah, uh, like there's people from all over the world there. Mm -hmm creating their own small yes communities and there might be their own tribalistic fights that they, they have yeah but at the end of the day places that are like that are more enriched that's why like coastal cities if you go to many coastal cities the food's always better yeah like the the, the culture is always richer why because they're yeah. constantly being in contact with people from different places yeah. and they've taken bits and pieces from them yeah, that's yeah, why coastal. coastal culture is so interesting and almost very different from, yeah. from you know, culture. Watu abara. Kwanza unajua. I'm seeing you're smiling there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. thinking about Fatuma. Well, yeah. 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 Look at that. Yeah. 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 Is this, it is a Ilara, uko chini. There's this mm. joke that mm. the reason why, like the places where food is really good, if mm. you think about it, mm. is when the mm. roles of the man and woman mm. are the traditional roles. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is an interesting take. Right? Uh -huh. So like in... Um, in it's a joke. No, it's a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> I wanted to educate <laughs> you, Kidogo. <laughs> you <laughs> heard that really. It's a joke. That's a layered <laughs> really. It's not just the really that you heard. <laughs> It has to land on the it has to land on the ear. Then you hear it in the subcutaneous level. Yes. The different lower level to understand what that what really the, what, meant. What it meant. Yes. That that takes fine tuning. That that is that is what marriage does. Kuna fine tuning. Kuna kuna karili anasema that is not really at a really or really or as in curiosity. Curiosity. Yeah. It's a really of really. Oh, who na jaribu kutni? Yeah. 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 Yes. But on a serious yeah. note, mm. yeah. that, but that's an interesting take. It's an interesting take. Not to be happy with me saying that. Mm. Yeah. A lot of the problems we have now, and because I talk and I sometimes don't think when I'm talking, mm. and I have to be very strong as well. Yeah. Um, some of the problems we have now are because men and women have forgotten their their roles. Yeah. As mm -hmm. God intended them. Mm. Yes. And I'm not, you know, I'm I'm in no way saying submit forever, die mm. to submission. Proverbs yeah. 31. Mm. Yeah. 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 And then that's where the problem comes mm. in. And there's that's, a lot of friction there. Yeah. So, babe, advice, that's not a wise thing to say. It's not true. Well, I mean, it's your opinion, what can I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's your opinion, but I don't be. But you can handle bashing. That has been your life. Mm. I can't. Look, but here. I can't. I'm a housewife. And here's the thing one thing with what you do, yeah. you have a fact checker on your episodes. Oh, that's yes. true. So, yes, here, yes. in as much as we don't have one, so she's, a, she's a fact checker. Yeah, yeah. I'm exactly. On, oh, look at so, those little birds. Where? Oh, like, are they guinea like fowls? That. No, they're not guinea fowls. There's something else. Are you sure, Makena? These are guinea fowls. Are you sure? Uh, uh, no, Brian, no, just no. fact check. They're interesting. They're oh, interesting. They're not, they're not, they're not guinea fowls. They look like, you remember the quail? Yes. But bigger. Uh, uh, nice. Yellow crested or something. Uh, Got him. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, look, Makena, you're taking it. Um, you take your opinion. But you see, I'm not built. Mm -hmm. I'm not built. But it's not. To be, I do not want to feel the wrath. Or. Oh, but it goes. That's how No, no, you are anti, anti women. You're hurting the agenda. Yeah. 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 At the end of the day, you have to realize. Yeah. You'll, 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 you'll have to upset somebody. At the end exactly. of the day, 
If you say something, you have mm. to think that you might upset someone. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you know when it's published. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. You don't you do you don't know how people will react we'll to take someone. It. Yeah. When you're behind the scenes, it, it, you're even more aware of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, of the of the selection of things. Yeah. Of the of things you say, and mm. I really, I really, by extension, being being his wife, yeah. I don't want to say something that puts him also in a bad place. Uh, I mean, let's laugh. Let's talk about Nigerian and uh, but, but just um, just you'll be like Beyonce. You sing about single ladies, but at home you go back to Jay Z. Jay Z at home. Proverbs thirty one chick. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Anyway, but I'm just asking that you know we're responsible. Yeah. Yeah. So now this is now a family. Oh. So that is the man who won. You see the one that with the all these women are his. Hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> <laughs> and so in the way he's standing he's not even right yeah. yeah. so yeah. if you check i don't know come out you but there's a bachelor had mahali too with a few mm. especially the young men mm. so they will atakula wakule wapate nguvu wa kuja wampige wampige mwenye atashinda ndio atachukua atachukua yeah but it's an in it's a um, evolution thing mm. because Uh, that means they think sh- he has the strongest genes mm, that's yeah. true and so our kids will be able to run and and if you see there's like mm. le- sorry i touched your no, camera okay. mm. there's like a bit of fur on his on his uh, on oh, like yeah, one of the horn, horns. yeah yeah so it looks like he recently won a battle one of yeah, yeah uh, that's from fighting uh, yeah yeah like big or two and then their horns are usually very symmetric mm. you can see mm, but they are beautiful and they're beautiful so yeah. our name our name oh. namu Yeah. The surname yeah. is actually that in our language that's a name for an island. Ah. Yeah, and then my name mm-hmm. now my own name is is um over Ngondi over Waterback. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So you lived close to wildlife. Yes, so it's likely that our our people lived close to wildlife. Yeah. Because we have a lot of those Mboko Muni, mm. you know. Yeah, Jogu. Yeah. Uh, those yeah. kinds of things Twega. Yeah. Yeah, so so yeah, it's 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 almost a certainty that yeah. our nomenclature was a reflection of of the yeah. the, the nature. So you yeah. see this one is a horns is a young male. Mm. Oh, that mm. small one. Yeah. yeah. So and then akali kama one of the horns is broken. The one this yeah. is on the road. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. so they're so beautiful. Do you beautiful. ever look at yeah. these animals and wonder what was God thinking? Yeah. That's true. When he decided to put a dot of black here. Mm. Mm. Of white. It, it, the size of the eyes, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. it's really it's something perfect. beautiful. That's true. And be able to have the body to be able to run, to run, run. as fast as you yeah. can, yeah. and manage the energy. Yeah, yeah. man. Uh, mm-hmm. And jump to confuse the enemy. Mm. Then confuse the enemy. You know, Ilan is the biggest antelope. Huh? Mm. Yeah, it's heavy, and it right. can it uh. it can run and jump over a, a grown human being. Like wow. What? Gee, okay. Mm. <laughs> With its size. <laughs> and you see that's why I'm I run and jump over all of our problems. Yeah. <laughs> also Yeah, also that's more reason with the park rules yeah. to always drive slowly because uh, it it might jump oh bele as it's running and then you hit it then and then you see yeah. that's now another problem you've yeah. caused. I wonder what the impact of the SGR has been on on on, on no stress like, levels of the wild of the of the animals. Yeah. I think the yeah. the stress was more during construction. During construction, eh? But after yeah. construction, yeah. Uh, I I I think this is the modern way of experiencing wildlife. Yeah. By minimal interference down True. and being able to go above it from above, yeah. From above it. Do you know actually um I was telling Maybe I shouldn't give this give this idea, mm. uh, but I was telling uh, Kanye. Um, we work together with a guy called Kanye. Yeah. He, he's the one who films all of the episodes of The Last Door. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we were in Kisumu, and they have this really nice place right by the the lake that they've recently like re- refurbished, and we'd go there and eat. Um, like when we're we're done with assignments, and it's quite close to the railway line. And it's also close to to the dock for the for the what you call it the 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 boats that go across to Uganda. So in theory, you could be able to take a train from Kampala all the way to to uh, Kisumu 
all, all the way to Nairobi, or yeah. no, no, actually from Mombasa all the way to Nairobi, to Kisumu, take the Nini, take a boat and tour East Africa. You go to Mwanza or you go to Entebbe, you know, via Lake Victoria. Yeah. And that would really be like a very interesting route. And now, you know, like what they've done with that, that, that old railway line, is it in Zambia? Yeah, yeah. That, that old train that old, and yeah. create that sort of experience for people where you're going now just through. Because I remember us taking the train um, when we were kids going to, uh, to the coast. And you leave at night, but when you're waking up in the morning, at like 6, 7 in the morning, that's now when you're in Savo. Yeah, yeah. And the views are just... Fantastic. The sunrise. The sunrise, the <laughs> elephant, like the elephants, they're the ones in the red mchanga. Yeah, 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 in Savo. And, yeah, and, and we have that route mm. that we have now across East Africa. So, then yeah. now you go onto the boat. Yeah. Crazy. So this, yeah. Is the, this is the bachelor hut. Ah, this is a bachelor. Oh, so now, now I'm going to go to the bachelor hut. Maybe <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then imagine any the guy didn't let me up. What kind of person is that? Huh? Yeah. They fight. They fight when. when did you kick a guy when an antelope when you're down? Yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing? And I imagine mm. the, the women they could all share. But imagine. Sister, but look at men and being selfish. Yeah. yeah. But but they're all mad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this, is, this is how nature intended it. It's it it be. I think it would have been corruption if only mm. panic but here you fight. So yeah. like you know what you need to do. Exactly. Yeah. So you're saying Makana, if it's in nature, why why not share? Yeah. Share, yeah. Uh, we had that was like, same, yeah, um, three, four wives. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then now you just buy a gun. <laughs> if any man wants to come in a pigana. Yeah. Uh. So funny. Nice. Yeah. Um so mm. back to East Africa. Yes. Uh, another idea that I had, mm. close to what you're saying, yeah. is like a cruise mm -hmm. from uh, Diani all the way to Lamu. Yes. For Kenyans who want to kind of experience the whole Kenyan coast, that yeah. whole coastline. Yeah. For like a three day uh, trip That'd on a cruise nice. line. Yeah. Or go to Pemba, mm. Zanzibar. Mm. Then you explore our Kaika area, Kidogo, yeah. and yeah. then. Yeah. yeah, that would be nice. That'd be very that nice. Be nice. But you see, this is why politics has to align with 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 the interests of, of, of like with a wider sort of like interest of the citizen yeah and instead of us playing in our small corners realizing that you know if someone came and spent a thousand dollars in Zambia comes and spends another thousand in in Nairobi yeah. goes and spends some more in Kigali yeah. and we are all facilitating that experience you know that be dope yeah. for me what's what's like the value that's even more like uh, that's even richer is allowing for the citizen himself to be able to experience east africa the way they, they want like why should i have to be tied to nairobi because i was born here yeah. or tied to kenya if i want if i see an opportunity in in uh, in uh, you know in kigali or in bujumbura mm -hmm. you know I should be able to go there, to go there and there should be no encumbrance or as little as possible because we have that understanding that as a block this is how we're going to do things yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah and, and to that there's a group of young people mm -hmm. uh like this girl called Rin, Rin ruby she does uh, uh backpacking trips within mm. East Africa mm. and even West Africa mm. and she's Kenyan ah. and so she gets a few people who are willing to go they pay and she takes them she's made connections with all these places wow. which is really nice yeah I've not been able to, to join her in those trips but mm. I guess that generation that is coming that up, these are the guys who are going to they're going to change everything yeah because yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. for them you know they've grown up in the age of the internet so for them like 
that experience that you're seeing online even you want to have it yeah like uh, i kind of remember this this guy who tours africa tayo aina he's a nigerian like yes. like um vlogger right? yeah that yeah. youtuber yeah like that's so dope like you go to namibia you go to nairobi you go to and you opened up you know you opened up um people's eyes to what africa actually looks like yeah the mm, and the possibilities and let me tell you kimani yeah. like um the, one of the benefits of, of being a journalist is that you travel a lot, a lot yeah. around the world mm -hmm. but there's no place like africa i can tell you that for sure mm -hmm. there's no place like africa see it was will smith who says that um you know god visits the rest of the world but he lives in africa it's true it's true man let me tell you this this continent of ours is just so interesting yeah. Yeah. everything is beautiful everything is beautiful everyone is beautiful first mm -hmm. of all yeah although the concentration of beauty i think is is, is more in east, <laughs> east africa. africa yeah <laughs> like like <laughs> god like he was when he was cooking oh sorry then now he akapuliza puliza to the rest of me. Like forehead kidogo hapo. Kwanza hiyo. Forehead aka nini? Wewe 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 wewe. That was the guy was the guy was looking. The guy was looking. I think he was he was talking to Saint Michael or something. Yeah. And he was that Lucifer. That time he was pouring. Ah yeah yeah yeah. He forehead he. Watch at koroge koroge ili it's everywhere. It's not just in Kenya. Cuz you go to Somalia iko. Iko. Haye? Eh? Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah, you go to Somalia, you go to yeah. Rwanda, Zico, Apa, Tanzania, Rwanda. Zico, Apa. Ay, 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 ay. Ooh, we see it. Where? It's shining iko tu hapo. It's just there, yeah. long and it's male and female. And both, yeah, yeah, male. Mm. You know Kenya at least the men the forehead isn't at as nini. Must be care. Yeah. It it ends up looking like your bald kumbe ni ni forehead kubwa. <laughs> this is um this is this is a test of of just how like deep and thoughtful and and like intelligent a human being you are yeah njahe mm -hmm. do you like it do you not like it i like my mom's njahe okay that's that's an answer that is <laughs> sitting on the fence that, everyone that is sitting on the fence <laughs> exactly and eat it out of respect honestly mm. i think <laughs> nikama uh, how i describe jahe mm. nikama kukula matope like, man like <laughs> can you cut that part and send it to me i send it to kanyi like i'm always telling him it's like unaenda kulamba mchanga mchanga then now you're kulaying it and you're just there sad why why would you eat something that's making you sad and you're yeah. not in prison not, yeah au jafungwa yeah yeah imagine yeah exactly you can't stand, you can't stand it this chick used to send me, me for stories <laughs> she's the only one that i can eat jahe yeah and it's not that it's that good it's mm. good enough for me to enjoy yes and also because i've eaten it for so long the nostalgia so, yeah exactly. so i kind of feel it yes yeah. yes yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's the love yeah, yeah. But, but otherwise but otherwise man uh, when that nikutembele unipike nje hii tutakosana i'm like singe ni vitu nimekuja na chakula yangu yeah actually <laughs> exactly yeah. naweza kuangalia globe yeah, i'm like oops like that, that is why there's no nje hii meal that you can find that you order at then it's delivered even the border guy would yeah, like yeah, that's like, a weird that's a weird nakula nje hii very good yeah, yeah very yeah. good Now oh, then we are, we are good. now we can be friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Mombasa mm. it's one of those experiences that I'm glad I, I went through it. Yeah. Because that's when I the passion of because I didn't have friends. I didn't yeah. know anyone. Yeah. So now video was my friend. Oh. So okay. then making videos on YouTube and people uh, showing people in Nairobi like hey mcheki Mombasa when you cook or yeah. Nini. So then I got to love it. Yeah. And working in the hotel industry. Yeah. Most people would come from Nairobi. Yeah. So my goal was to show them a good time like eh mm. ata watu wa hoteli mm. people used to like me because I would propose like eh hey, should go for Jesus once you leave for Jesus is this so healing place ah. once you go to this so healing place you know because you, you explored for yourself yeah. like a tourist yeah, with like a tourist, new eyes yeah. that's very no, that's very much. good. Yeah. 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 It's one of the qualities that yeah. people love. Yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah, and yeah. I even started a series though I, 
I stopped doing it, uh-huh. but I want to do it. It was called three meals in three counties. Uh-huh. So I'd go, Such I'd nice try place. to do like breakfast in one county, uh-huh. lunch in a different county, dinner in a different county. Where? So I did nine, then I stopped. But, and I used to, because I, I never used to drive then. So yeah. I would use a matatu. Wow. So like I had breakfast in Nairobi, had lunch in Embu, mm. had dinner in Meru, mm. woke up the next day, had uh, breakfast in Isiolo, Oh, nice. Went to Nyeri, hey. like that, and then did like Kipia. Wow. <laughs> All using matachus and with these cameras. But let me ask you. Yeah. There's a certain homogeneity of, of palates and food. Yeah. The closer you approach the mountain. Like, yeah. Uh, what kind of differences did you find? Like, I'm trying to be like P- PC <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. Like, what kind of differences did you find? Like, with the lunch in Embu yeah. and the dinner in Meru. In Meru. Like, ilikuwa na tofauti kubwa sana. Like, ilikuwa zi mayachana ama wa Embu wa naeka vitungu. Si tofauti. I think what I realized is most of them, yeah. their food is very organic and mm. uh, to me mafuta That's sana. That's true. Yes. It's very, it's like boiling everything. Yeah, and our penny chumbi, uh, penny chumbi has, has exactly. And then enemy. everything has has to come mm. with tea. Yes. So like mm. every meal, when you kunyonga, kunyonga mm. maji, mm. ni chai. chai. But I also think because of the cold weather. Yeah. So they have to have some warm. Now mm. penny soup, na penny chai. Mm. So that was very interesting. Mm. But then I stopped doing it. I I did as well. Kis, um, the uh, kwale, mm-hmm. Mombasa, and kilifi. Oh, nice. Uh, so the, nine, the, yeah. the nine now, but I, I, I mean now because I can, I'm driving and it will be mm. easier. Yeah. I think I want to get back to it. Mm. The time, the Yoshida, you know, when you're younger, uh, you, have uh, you have less responsibilities, yeah, yeah. and um, yeah. Mm. And then, since I cost you a you have to consider That's again true. corruption. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Unless now you buy like uh, an EV or something. An EV, like that. Uh, and even but then. But now where do you charge? Exactly. Yeah. If and and even then, if I have the, the money to buy an EV, mm. then I could oh, do it with a diesel car. Mm. You know. Why would you That's true. Why don't you find someone who can who, mm. can, who can sponsor you to do to that? To do the trip. Yeah. yeah. I I've been. Th- that's something that I, I would consider even with yeah. this, right? Yeah. One thing, and maybe you guys experience it, huh? mm. when you're doing independent work, mm. is that ca- ego you have mm. of like, now, if someone wants really wants to partner with me, I don't need food, I don't need food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then you feel like, if I if I go look for them, I'll be a sellout. Mm-hmm. Because if they and ask like, me... Like, like you're, 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 you're corrupting the purity of the work. Of the work that you've done, become, yeah. Let me tell you, um, that that's true. Until you come up against the economy. I I tell you, I I, I joke about this, but all of the white hairs that I have, I owe to the the stress of looking for for money and trying to keep things on. Like, it's very hard. But but it's something that, it's a skill that you kind of have to develop and and it's tough, especially as a creative. You you think that your work is what will bring people to you. And to an extent, it, it is. But I think one thing that, that sometimes creatives don't consider, it, or, or even the Rao, is the art of making a sale, the art of even just like getting someone interested in what it is that you're doing. That's hard. And so uh, some, one of the jobs that I really have a lot of respect for is a job that involves selling. Yes. It's very hard. It's very hard. Yeah. It's very very hard to sell something. <coughs> yeah. You know. Uh... Yeah. So how do you go about it? Like how do you how do you get a partner to sell to your idea and not make you change? Do not make you change the the, the content of the idea. I yeah. think the idea in itself has to have. Ah. No, you can get gosh. a good better yeah, shot. Yeah. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, yeah. they are they are back in Kwanza and 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 Jerry. So it's an entire buffalo bread. <laughs> wow, she's full. Yeah. Oh, you just wish she wants to get her first again. I'm sure it's a No, she's turning to us. No, it just looks like a white rock. Um, yeah. food. Um, if I can pass on to a question. Yeah. Mm. I think not willing and not wanting to be compromised. Yeah. Um, in your storytelling and how you want to offer it has to almost be in the DNA of mm. the charities you're building. 
it has to be evident right from the onset that's true. that um, I, I can't be compromised and this is really how I want to go about. Maybe that's the ego you're talking about. Yeah. Um, so so in, yeah, so in part it's not ego, it's also just trying to be true to yourself. Yeah. yeah. But there's a point of being true to yourself that then now becomes egotistical. Where, and, and how you know that it is, mm -hmm. is that you don't like critique or criticism of your work really hurts you yeah. and you don't want to improve on the work because you you feel you think that it's perfect yeah. that's telling you that you have like a very serious blind spot yeah and 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 it's the same like even when you're going looking for partners they they might be seeing stuff that you don't so it's also having that openness to think okay is this partnership going to improve the work that we're doing or is it going to compromise the work that we're doing the yeah. values that we have and like again what can you what can you say no to that's a that's a that's a tough question you know yeah yeah like when you're stressed for cash mm -hmm. when you're when you're you're thinking that oh my gosh now like you're thinking about bread and butter issues yeah it's very very possible it's highly possible that you then will compromise the value of your of your work for short term gain yeah but that never ends well, and I think I mean I have seen I've seen that happen. Like we've we've you know I've 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 taken jobs that have just been too much work for the value that I'm getting. Yeah. Um, and it's because you know at that time yes you need to pay salaries etc. It hasn't it hasn't compromised the value of our work, yep. but it has been like too much. It's it's added stress to your life. To your life, yeah. And those are the things that sometimes you want to think about. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I think now more than in, in other times past, mm -hmm. I think people are a lot more open to, to the ideas and the, the content of people who are innovating and, and trying to see, see things from a different point of view. Point of view yeah. but at the end of the day, the question that you have to answer is that does, does your idea have value in the marketplace? Yeah. It, it might be a great thing for you, but yeah. is it something that other people, other people can, can use and then they can find value in? Yeah, is it solving a problem? Yeah. So. But, but it could be, but then the mm. the way it grows, it's not. It's very organic. It doesn't yeah. grow like it's not like you wake up and you have fifty thousand mm. views on, exactly. on a video. Oh man, it it's takes probably forever. one comment, two yeah. comments, yeah. And, and then ten, and then, then fifteen. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> like it's taken us, it's taken us a long time, mm -hmm. possibly longer than it should have, maybe because we, we, we didn't recognize that we didn't have expertise in how to be able to handle social media. But it's taken us a much longer time than it should have to cross a hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah, that took a long time. Like yeah, it yeah. took, I think we crossed it in twenty twenty two or twenty twenty one, not, and we had been, you know, around since twenty sixteen. So yeah. you're seeing. Like you're there doing hard work, then now some guy comes and he posts a funny video, 300,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you're like, like, what am I doing wrong? You know? Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. And I, I it think can be frustrating. We, also with content, most mm. people are inclined to comedy. Yeah. Because it's it's a quicker entertainment fix. Exactly. All the problems that you're facing. Yeah, uh, you, can, you, you can laugh and, about them. And you, you know? can laugh about them. Mm. Or thirst traps. Mm -hmm. mm. That's yes. trap. Yes. Yeah, Kwanza is in a Kwanza trap. Kwanza what when is that now? Yeah, these 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 young guys. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Kwanza you thirst trap ni nini? So if I'm thirsty, am I trapped? Am I trapped? So am I falling into a trap now by taking a sip of this? Mm. No, creating content. Yeah. That let's say you're you're marketing mm. a certain brand. Let's yeah. say this water. Yeah. And because you you're not create you you're not creative enough to think of something you can do with it, mm. you take a picture of you sh shirtless, I guess, mm. holding it like this. Mm. Or, yeah. or for or women, like, like you've seen those gym influencers where, mm. like, have you ever noticed, like, for for like, not that I look at a lot yeah, of I'm them, yeah. but but in the <laughs> in the few <laughs> that I've seen, you wanna happen there's something. There's something, huh? You see the way they're oh, going, they like this. They're yeah. going like Any this. Any they've ignored the beautiful giraffes. The giraffes, there's something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So so like all of the the camera angles are low, 
Yeah. And then now they'll be doing like squats. Yeah. And you're like, hey, okay, so okay. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Also, you, oh, yeah. you could appear in the video as exactly, well. Exactly, yeah. When you're walking. Oh, around. man, like, yeah, I, I actually avoid gyms like that these days. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the, mm. a good idea is open a gym mm. <laughs> that allows influencers to take videos. But, and it's like purely yeah, so an like when you say, gym. Yeah, so when you sign in, yeah. it, it's okay for someone to be filming in the gym. Yeah. That way all influencers can just come can in just the gym. can just go there and do their thing. They can just because do their thing, Sometimes yeah. it can be so annoying. <coughs> there, you're, they're dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And someone is taking a video. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And then the video yeah. trends, but they're looking exactly. at you. At, they're at looking at that guy. Hey, chicken in tears. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like fine, she has a nice body, but yeah. But yeah. yeah. So, what are these guys looking at? They just came to Kuangalia scenery. That's a nice shot, man. Yeah. Ooh, wonderful. Yeah. I'm surprised no other country has has reimagined the national park and built it. You know, the way we, we pride ourselves in having the only national park within the city. Yeah. How come no one else has, has built a city around the national park? Or something, yeah. You know, here what happened was uh -huh. the, the park came first before mm. the city. Yeah. So that's the biggest advantage we have. Mm. Most people, most places is the city that started. And then now they were like, okay, now we need conservation. Because yeah. oh, then they drove away the animals. Yeah, so. yeah. So for here, because it was um, it was gazetted in 1946. Mm. So back then, at Nairobi, such a big developed yeah. area. Like Nairobi so, was far. Yeah, so it was yeah. easier to close it off. Mm. And like, if you remember how they almost uh, cutted Karura Forest. Yeah. Until guys were like, hey, yeah. like you know. Yeah. And so most countries don't have those kind of people yeah. Yeah. that think for the future generation, mm. like, hey. Think long term. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I wanted to talk, ask you about the Ethiopia-Somalia conflict. Uh -huh. I saw yesterday yeah. an Ethiopian airline plane was taken back. Mm. It was trying to land in Somalia, Somaliland. Mm. And then they were like, no, 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 go back. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mm. think that the way it looks, it, it's probably going, going to escalate? I think... Okay, so the, the Somaliland question yep. is, is really like a very, a very interesting and sensitive one for, for people to, to consider in terms of just that regional stability. Yep. Like for, for those who like observe Somalia from the outside, yep. they think that Somaliland is an example of what Somalia could be in terms of peace, stability, development, etc., progress right mm -hmm. but imagine for a moment if if um say eldoret passing issue chose to now secede right what could that do for the territorial integrity of this country so it's really a question of of sovereignty that that um that we're dealing with in that in that somalia somaliland issue and ethiopia is really it's it's playing hard geopolitics because for them, I think what they're looking for is access to the sea, yeah. right? They yeah. had access to the sea via Eritrea, yeah. but now even Eritrea has become a, a problem. Yeah. They've built that railway line to Djibouti, but Djibouti has its own national interests. So they're looking for multiple ways to be able to get access, access to the sea. And, and I think as long as they pursue it in the way that they're doing so, there's going to be conflict. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be conflict. They're, they're trying to have a naval base mm. there. Mm. And uh, what about the conflict in in uh, Israel oh, with Hamas man. and now Palestine? I mean, for me, okay, honestly, for me, it's very clear. Um, no matter what um, the Hamas's crimes for sure on October the seventh, and and in days before have been heinous, yeah. right? Yeah. But you don't respond by collective punishment yeah. and like a genocidal ideology of wiping people out off, off of the face of the planet. Yeah. Right? And it's been very clear, like since October the 7th, if you hear the statements of Netanyahu, of the defense minister, the foreign affairs minister, if you hear what's happening in the military, it's, it's different phrase, phraseology of the same kind of language. Yeah. 
Now, do I think that the Israeli people are genocidal in their mentality? Of course not. These are just extremists at the, at the, at the head of, of um, the leadership of that country that are trying to do something that they think is in the interest of their country, which is, which is wrong, yeah. right? Yeah. You think about what happened in Rwanda. Yeah. It, it's the same thing. A group of ideologists, uh, a group of extremists with extreme genocidal ideology managed to convince um, part of the population that this is in their interest, to yeah. protect their interest. Yeah. And they use fear, right? Mm -hmm. So every Palestinian is a bad Palestinian, yeah. you know, and therefore is a potential terrorist, yeah. right? Yeah. No, I mean, which which person is a pot? Everybody then is a potential terrorist. If that's if that's the way you're looking at it, yeah, yeah. So exactly. It's, it's incredibly stereotypical. Yeah. For me, what what this is 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 it's a microcosm of the the state of global geopolitics now. Yeah. It's a line in the sand, right? That's been drawn before, and many times people have fallen on the wrong side. Yeah. But because of the benefit of having seen the Israeli-Palestinian conflict for basically all of our lives, we know who the oppressor and the occupier is, especially as Africans. It's very easy to identify yeah. because our history, writ large, has, has moments when they've been oppressive, um, foreign forces that have come and tried to run us out of our countries, take yep. over, take take over our territories, yep. deny us our rights. Yep. So for it, it that's why I think it resonates so deeply for, with people from the global south because they've seen this before in different in iterations. Different situations. And for them, it, it's it's just the other day. Exactly, in it's, the 90s. it's exactly that history is now. You know, very fresh. I'm sure in your family you have someone who was in the Mau Mau yeah. or who was jailed during that time, yeah. or there's a certain experience. You know, yeah. Yeah. same here. Right, so for us that history is today, it's yesterday, it's today. Yeah. So to see that happen in another country, obviously you think that. Now, now do I think that, that some of the responses of Hamas have been, have been right or have been fair? Of course not. You know, you don't, you don't target civilian populations. You know, one trying to make a, pop, uh, a political point, yeah. right? And it's easy for us to say, yeah, but you know they've been driven to the edge. But at the same time, that, you know, you, you you can't respond to the tactics of your enemy, yeah. But then, look, I'm not the one who's living in in, in, in that in the Gaza Strip, open air, it's an open prison, air prison, prison yeah. right? Yeah. I'm not the one who's living there. I don't know what the experience is like yeah. waking up every day knowing that someone could kill you for walking down the wrong street. Yeah, and the kids know. who will survive this exactly will be the next Hamas in 20 years and if they do not resolve the problem. If they don't resolve, because then, yeah. right now, whatever you're doing to them, yeah. You've killed like the, uh, I saw a video of a wow, boy. Wow! Look, look, look at the hippo. Yeah, it's a pool. Of ah. hippos, yeah. Oh, it's a pool of hippos. Mm -hmm. I was looking out for the the crocodile. Mm. Mm. I didn't see it up close last time. Mm. This is this, this is, is a different, different one. It's a different one. Oh, this is a different. Yeah. Una ona tu maji una se ma. Yeah. Water and a pass and I'm like it's the same thing. Yeah. Birds are family. There wow. must be something they they take from. From the, from, from the hippos or yeah. you know, from animals that come to the quarter. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. So you see, for me, it's mm -hmm. not. It, it, it's. It's really fairly clear, like the facts, the evidence has been there to see and you like you heard what that that south african prosecutor said this is the first time in history where people who are being wiped out are filming their extermination in real time in real time yeah you yeah. get so it's not stories it's not stories so everybody like wherever you look you can yeah. find the evidence of what's happening there if you just looked yeah right yeah but to try and now politicize this around the, the, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and, and Israel's right to, to exist. Nobody has said that you, 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 don't, have you don't have a right to exist. Yeah. But there's also a right to coexist, yeah. right? If you find people in a certain place, you, you can't just come and, you know, you have to find ways of living with them. Yeah. 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 And in, in, my, in my sense, uh, I might be wrong. This is and why like the, the West specifically is so determined to to stand with with uh, Israel 
there's a sense of guilt around what well, they did, what they did yeah. to, to Israelis and, and to Jews throughout human history. Yeah. Not just not just in the 40s and the 30s with Hitler and the Holocaust. World War II, yeah. But before that, yeah. these are the same civilizations that have rejected the Jewish people over and over, over and over, over again. again. So the Jewish story has been a story of constantly trying to find a home. Yeah. You know, yeah. which is a sad story. You know, it's a very sad story, right? But now However, that you found one, yeah. do you then now resort to the same tactics that exactly. have been used against you? Exactly. That's the so name. is it like Nalipisha? Exactly. Yeah. You know, so so that really is a question of our time. Yeah. yeah. It's sad. It's very sad. And in, in those situations, because I've seen a divide, even yeah. in, with Kenyans, mm. some who are religious, yeah. They take the Israel side mm. purely because of uh, on religious on religious grounds. grounds. Yeah, in mean, as much as you give them evidence, Christian like Zionism, Christian Zionism, yeah. Zionism. And I thought at some point, because when you watch older movies, mm. most wars were motivated mm. by religion, convincing people yeah. that this is what God wants. Yeah, that's what happens. But if you have evidence and you can clearly see it, yeah, that this is wrong and this is mm. how do you convince that kind of person? Exactly. Right? You know, it's so difficult. I mean, if we think about all of the commandments, even in the Old Testament, yeah. what did Jesus come and do? He replaced all of those commandments with one commandment. Yeah. Love one another as, as you love yourself. As you love yourself and as God loves loves you. As love loves you. The greatest commandment yeah. is love. Yeah. If the love I, the greatest commandment is love. is love. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. What did you hear? Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're, yeah, you're, you're such a wife. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying it. I'm such a wife. Like I've been searching the cosmos and for answers. Like, am I wrong? Yeah. Don't worry. Even you, you'll get your. I'll get there. Yeah. Uh, Two point oh. Two point oh. Yeah. Yeah. Such a wife. But so, like, my point is, if 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 our religions teach us, yeah, right, that our greatest responsibility to God and to ourselves is to love one another is what is happening an expression of that love yeah and how quick are you to be able to other you know different people mm -hmm. on the basis of the fact that oh my version of love is better than yours, than yours yeah, yeah? yeah. I, I understand the value of dogma um, in in um, in different faiths, yeah. right? Yeah. But I see, I see religious dogma as a, as almost like a formula for how then you connect with, with, um, you know, how then you connect yourself to God yeah. and with God. Yeah. But dogma should also be balanced against logic. Like it's illogical for you to, to, to defend this sort of thing on the basis of Christian dogma and, and, and the myths that have been told to us in the past, right? And, and that's a responsibility of, of today's civilization. Our, our, our biggest test is not whether we will be able to feed people or whether we'll be able to end war. It's using our discretion. Yeah. This is the age of discernment. We have all of the information that we need at our fingertips how do we use our discretion and discern what is the right way to move forward humanely. exactly humanely, yeah. yeah humanely mm -hmm. it is not for a lack of knowledge that we shall perish it yeah. is out of selfishness and subjectivity yeah. and 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 self-love and and um, especially self-love to the exclusion of other people yeah. Now, this is not to say that there aren't bad people in the world and that there shouldn't be some sort of forms of just justice for them. But where you can clearly see that there is a very serious issue that you're not dealing with, or you choose to deal with it with war, yeah. then what you're doing is, is going against the very God that you say that yourself. That you, exactly. You know, yeah. That's my, my view. My, my gosh. We are from Barabarani. Ooh, look at this guy. Yeah. He's so close. Yeah. His things are beautiful. Big man. Big, Big man. man, yeah. Wow. <laughs> and he looks like he's a distant relative of the dinosaur. What is this yeah, thing? Like the at the top. Mm. Uh, I think it looks like horns. Like horns, yeah. yeah. That's true. Mm. 
but there's the some relationship sorry between giraffes and like the antelope family right yeah yeah, yeah. there is one that is called a is it a gerenuk mm. uh, if you google it it looks like um, it looks like a giraffe but small yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh this is awesome this is awesome mm. yeah beautiful creatures <laughs> also i think war is motivated by yeah military complex Oh yeah yeah for sure, for sure. I mean there's a, there's a, there's, there's, there's obviously a there's motive. a financial motive yeah you know um there's people who are like even uh, Eisenhower when mm. he was leaving office he said mm. uh, you know in as much as I'm leaving and the war is over mm. you need to take care of the you need to understand the industrial military complex the military industrial yeah. complex yeah however you know the, the funny thing about war is mm. that so many advancements have yeah. come through war Be- because of war that's true yeah so like Mm-hmm. airlines medical mm-hmm. even transport transport yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. and um, yeah. communication the internet mm. it's military That's however true. people say if you have the brain to do that then mm. you should not be motivated by conflict exactly you should, should be, be motivated by something by else. helping people yeah yeah Money. but i think it, it goes back my gosh we are so close like yeah. i can take one <laughs> right from right underneath <laughs> this guy yeah. as okay. we are passing i'll just make yeah. don't want to scare him mm. Yeah, they know. Even yeah, I don't know so. There are parks where you go mm. and uh, they are very scared like mm. like an elephant will see you or uh, even a giraffe. It a big and be because they're not used to seeing people. Mm. Yeah. But here in Nairobi park, they kind of like as long as you don't get too close, yeah. you're good. Oh nice. Yeah, it's such a really good show. Incredible. I was in a lion trying to hunt down a yeah, giraffe. Yeah, it no, the, funny it's it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> But it has to be very desperate to try yeah. a giraffe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that leg. Can you imagine if it kicked you or stepped on you or man, mm. look at this. Guys, stand up. Mm. What would happen if mm-hmm. you got the on on Joggy, little joggy or, or goji bear. Yeah, yeah, the conservancy. Would mm. It would change a lot because, uh, first of all, diet. Mm. You know, bears like it's a black bear, mm. so it's, it's it eats fruits and um, fish. There is mm. yeah. and, and so. And honey, is that true? It's just Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Bear is it honey, my kind of. It's all bears. Okay. And it goes to share with Tiger. <laughs> with yeah, with Tiger. Yeah, with huh? tiger. <laughs> That's so funny. I've never thought mm. about it like that. Right? The bowl of honey is a pool. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it it would not it would die quickly. Mm. or it would kill out of things quickly true, true. like something bad would happen yeah it would either go to community land nenda to nenda uh-huh. okay uh-huh. that's true it would probably go to community land yeah and then i just say you need to let you need to sasa You see that mm. that's why Makena. Yeah, you you, would, uh, you want to watch them. They are living in. And most likely the reason why he's not running is because he's, he's protecting uh, her. Yeah. And I feel like ama ana fox mama hapo. Mhm. I've seen an ego. An ego. An ego, yeah. I'm not sure. Like uh, the white cr- Oh, uh, black, the American one. Really? You can oh, see there. the you can see the Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh an ego. Oh my god. <laughs> It's like when I used to come and land on the lamp post mm, at at mm. home. outside our house yeah. yeah yeah oh we had like very very beautiful wildlife birds, um, birds kwanza wow 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 yeah mm, like mm. the the day the week that we were moving there were these two birds these i think they're called turakus or mm. something mm. so they've got their very they've got a green crown and they've got beaks that look kind of like hornbills and then they've got yeah, exactly the, the the wings right under the wing is red very very beautiful bird yeah yeah and it land right outside our window every day mm. until we moved cool is it is it better working for yourself than oh, working yeah. for a media company stresses stresses of looking for money and um, the stresses of building an organization aside mm mm-hmm. This has been the most freeing experience I've ever had in my in my working life. Yeah. I feel 
mentally free. And there's okay. no better feeling than that. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not being gagged or you're, you're not, not being you're not, directed yeah, exactly. to work. You're not being directed to work in a certain it's way. Anyway, yeah. Anything that you do, you know, obviously there'll be there'll be natural boundaries and there'll be things that you wouldn't be able to do. Yeah. But um it I guess it's it's because I always had that ambition to want to do that that doing it in as much as it can be difficult and there's lots of sacrifices that we make doing it just doing it and knowing that I'm doing it mm. is is it gives me a very big sense of fulfillment yeah uh, and and also knowing that you know that I'm doing this but I know that if I do it right this is something that I can hand to our our kids yep right mm -hmm. if i do it right yeah you know and not something for them to nurture no I mean, look look at look at the washington post it was a, it was a family, family business, business yeah right mm -hmm. and now it's one of the biggest uh, media corporations in the world yeah so meaning that i, I might be creating something for my kids mm -hmm. that will be for them but also help generations and generations of of africans yeah that 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 thought in itself gives me a lot of comfort a lot of comfort. In waking up every day and mm. doing now it. Now you can grow a beard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a plus, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I started growing it the day I left Katie. Oh. Like the day I left, November 29th, 2015. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you couldn't when you were working? No, I couldn't because I was, I was on air. Uh, and so so they, you have rules. and. Yeah, so at that time, you know, like facial hair was, uh, has to be upon. very, Yeah. You know, yeah. To shave <laughs> three hours, <laughs> you must see the skin pores. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah you cannot look things. unkempt. You know, yeah. a lot has changed. Like a lot has changed, mm -hmm. even in the way people look. Are these guys oh. taking pictures of the baboons? Yeah. Why are they two bombers? Why are they two bombers? Ah, yeah. Where they can go and oh, play with them. Hey, those th 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 these are criminals. I'm those guys are criminals. You. Yeah, yeah. How a Sunday yeah, house. These are the thugs of the. If you leave your office at the mm. you will cry. And then you have lunch. <laughs> They at a ingia at a kula sukari, you know, that's the office. Oh, sugar. like the sugar bowls. Yeah. My gosh. And then because Hajazoya at a poop immediately. Ay, 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 ay. In your office. In your office. So it will take in a nuka kama. There's a saying about oh, you can't man. do that where you eat. Ah, how are they? Don't care. Mm. Kwanza, and then you know, in a journey kuhara. So, Ooh. like. <laughs> because I'm a kula kitu foreign kitu Hajazoya. Like your 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 cleaning baboon diarrhea. Yeah, it smells yeah. bad. It smells yeah. like rotten onions. Like yuck. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but <laughs> can I can even like, just look at that diab. Do you think anything good can come from that? that yeah. no. <laughs> just looks like waste disposal. Yeah. And then okay, yeah. I've seen a lot of. Okay, but not a lot of. But mm. I've seen a number of children. I'm wondering why are they in school? Which one? <laughs> oh, the oh, kids. Oh, I thought you said the baboon kids. Oh. No, no. Oh, I was like, okay. <laughs> this is their school. No. Uh, come, come look so docile for the tourists. Oh, Make tourists, them smile. Yeah. Then when they're not looking, grab their food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah, these things, huh? These mm. things are not... Have you, have you noticed, like, a change in the, like, the, the countries that are visiting, or, or the people that are visiting Kenya? So, uh, since like, when? Like, do we have like more people from the Middle East, uh, uh, more people from China? I think the biggest change that I've seen is mm. most people right now are younger people. Or young, eh? Like back then, this kind of tourism yeah. was more of like the retiree. Ah, was there, guys? Was there, yeah. Yeah. Eh? No, Why? Because no. of how its job is looking. It, I, it's, no. It's just done it's that, just like that, that baboon diarrhea. That's yeah. why it smells like onion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks like an onion. <laughs> yeah, but it does look a little more it raw it, than yeah. others. Yeah. It looks like a little more raw than others. Yeah. 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 Yeah, mm. you can't help all of them. That's true. Mm. How, how actually? How do how do you decide? How do you decide what animal is in need of severe medical attention if they need mm. of the attention at all? So I think it it all depends with. Mm. So for example, if you see let's say a zebra with like a spear, yeah, mm. that you can help because you can remove it, yeah. and treat it. However, if let's say if it is one that was 
an injury when maybe during hunting mm. it got beat or something there's mm. situations where you can't do anything you can't do anything you just have to let it die yeah and also i think right. mo- priority comes with endangered animals mm. so like rhinos lions mm. you know when a lion hunts up huh? 10 times out of the times that it it hunts mm. it only gets it right like three times what it fails the rest of the I time should you, I should you drop it all right like, yeah these guys get these guys all the all time. the time no 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 it's like yeah so you know they never fail okay also younger tourists yeah so younger tourists mm. uh, there have been a rise in younger people interested in the environment mm. even with uh, the ban of single use plastics mm. and you know it's driven by younger people who are like mm. time, you know so I, i think that's the biggest change that i've seen okay and f- the fact that that person can just leave their country for summer yeah with their savings and come here and mm. do this and and even african countries like mm. you find ugandans coming mm-hmm. you find but ugandans like coast because they don't mm. have a beach oh so they have the wildlife mm. so, uh, so rwandese and uh, yeah. they mostly go to the They'll coast go down to the coast the coast and have uh. weddings there ah uh, yeah uh, at ah. the beach and fun times mm. but other africans like south africans will come here ah. mainly because of lamu and this is why yeah. i think tourism in kenya mm. as much as wildlife is very important mm. there are specific aspects of tourism that we have neglected mm. that can Now imagine you see how Lamu is you've been to Lamu yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and you did a story there mm. um now imagine having that but in Moranga yeah. for the Kikuyu culture that's true so having like a village like a mm. proper with hotels and mm. to stay but people just live the way Kikuyu used live used to live yeah so you can but like your kids there to learn true same with go to Nyanza mm-hmm. have a specific area where mm. people can Yeah. of learn Kavirondo yeah. history and customs that's true a culture yeah, yeah. people would be interested because bombers were supposed to be that right yeah. but yeah. then but then now it's like you I don't know not <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, choir. Yes, yeah, the, yeah, the choir. The choir. Really <laughs> when guys no, when guys are being no, killed. Yeah, when guys are yeah. fighting. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a choir. Those guys were not. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm a big guy. Those guys are yeah. fucking like. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> It's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Oh man. So I cultural tourism in Kenya you want me to Melala yeah. to Melala yeah that's true even for our own like mm, for even me, for our own for, sake that's yeah. true that's true yeah like yeah. if if a kikuyu right now marries a luo mm. culture in Asia because mm. the kids I wouldn't talk kikuyu in the mm. house and you wouldn't talk English uh, English, English, yeah. yeah so now the kids are just katikati to they just mm. know mom ushaguni huko mm. yeah. but then if you have this place then you can take them and tell them, tell them hey, and even they can even learn both sides you know exactly yeah mm. Yeah. I think what people don't realize about the world um yeah. we we tend to think that that um though, or rather there was a certain generation that used to think kuongea you know kiingereza yeah na kiswahili kuonyesha vile umeendelea mm. but you go around the world and you find people speaking their own languages yep and english and and all of these other like uh, lingua franca nini um, uh, languages yeah. are things that they do to function within the world yeah. not the other way around yeah i mean that there's there's something to be said about what colonialism did to us yeah but there's stuff that we can undo yeah. there's certainly stuff that we can undo and there, there is and and yeah. again we go back to corruption yeah the counties should be responsible exactly. for that kind of thing yeah because yeah, yeah. you have a department a tourism department mm. or a trade department mm. it's f- identifying what the people in that area exactly. do you give them a job create mm. this area build a culture build, build a culture yeah build a culture yeah, and support them yeah you see right now most counties have those cultural festivals mm. but mm. if you go to them the only one i've gone to two mm. well maybe three mm. but the lamu festival has always been the best for me the mm. governor comes he doesn't even talk for more than five minutes yeah just says welcome Mm. do your Plus. thing it's a culture thing mm. others uh, you go others they come and give their political ideologies mm. and praise themselves for like jenga barabara tutafanya tuta you know really culture yetu is some base killer mali exactly rubbish yeah and then mm. the same same person doesn't live there yeah. comes to the chopper in the morning mm. talks about culture goes back to nairobi goes to 
to Kilaleshwa in the evening or, yeah. or some of these places. But yeah, but Lamu it seems like it's they know this mm. is what we this is what who this we are. This is us. And this is what people come here to see. And yeah. Uh, yeah. With no apologies. Mm. As exactly. Slow as it as it is as a town. Yeah. As a town, yeah. 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 This has been great, man. Man, thank you so a much for sana. agreeing to do this. This was awesome. Yeah, I hope this you had a good time. A, oh, we had a great time. <laughs> we had I, a I great time. I wasn't sure we'd have a great time, but I did. I had a good time. You saw a lion. Yeah. Time. Wonderful. Yeah, let me call.